welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. What are you sleeping on? Are you sleeping on a dog bed? Are you sleeping on the floor? Do you have a subpar mattress? It's time to switch it up, man. You deserve to sleep well and sleep comfortably and sleep the way I sleep, which is in a Sattva mattress. I've got a luxury firm Sattva. I have a Lumen Leaf memory foam mattress. And now... My oldest son has Sattva's uh, mattress for kids. They make uh, toddler, yeah, they make kid mattresses now. This is why they're the best. They have amazing products, amazing customer service, and they're online only. They don't have a store. There's no storefront. There's no overhead for the electric bill and the commission for the salesman. It is just great products and great service. Listen to me. Do what I do. Go to sattva.com, S-A-A-T-V-A.com. Get yourself a high-quality five-star luxury mattress or a memory foam or get your adorable child a comfortable bed to sleep on. Do it now, S-A-A-T-V-A.com. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Whoop. Check this thing out. Sitting there on my wrist. And what do I do? I just open my phone, I go to the Whoop app, and I had very little strain today. I've been sitting. That's what this tells me. It's telling me to get up off of my butt and do something. Um, anyways, uh, it also tells me incredible analytics, your heart rate, your resting heart rate, your heart rate variability, uh, the strain you put on your heart, the way you sleep, the disturbances in your sleep, are you in light sleep, deep sleep, REM sleep, all that is read just with this thing on your wrist and it's transferred to your app and I'm fascinated by that data. Uh, NFL players use it, Navy SEALs use it, but even comedians and people that like podcasts can use it too. Uh, I'm a huge fan and you can actually see the way your lifestyle is affecting your strain and your rest Here's what I want you to do. Join me on Whoop. Go to whoop.com right now. Use the code YOURMOM, Y-O-U-R-M-O-M, at checkout for 15% off your membership today. That's whoop.com. Use the code Y-O-U-R-M-O-M. And what's up there, chomos? Uh, it's great to be back here. You'll notice that the uh, chair next to me is empty. Christina is sick. I am getting sick. So, yeah, this is what you got today. I figure that since she is um, not here, uh, I could play something that reminds you of her. Um, let's see if I can make this work. Can I? Nope. Is that happening? It's not. Great. So, uh, don't worry about it. It's not that big a deal. Um, I was trying to... Trying to see if I can make it come into here. All right. Yeah. All right. So Christina's not here, but this should remind you of her. So it's like she's here. Uh, now, uh, but I do have a great substitute. Uh, Josh Potter, it's good to see you. Hey, hey, how are you? Good. I man. thought Christina was just so depressed over Fed Smoker's death. It, she still couldn't come in. It's such. It is. I mean, it, that makes sense. Yeah, it's such a bummer. Right. Um. We we don't have official confirmation. Uh, we did call the coroner's office, and they wouldn't confirm anything. But I mean, everything that we kind of pieced together as the uh, the sleuths that we are leads us to believe that it's. Do you think the coroner is like? Swiping shit under the rug, you know, because of a be. federal investigation. I don't know. It could who, be who got to him. That's what I want to know. I know. It's like it's such a curious side of the road. Right. Death. I immediately um, last week when that happened, I reached out to Dr. Drew because I had just done a podcast with him where right. we talked a lot about it. And um, as <laughs> dude, let me tell you, 
This is Dr. Drew Pinsky, okay? <laughs> this is text about Fed Smoker? The, yeah, this is the, the, like, literally within 10 minutes of finding out. Because I just spent so much time talking right. about him. And then you notified Dr. Drew you had to deliver the bad news that he passed. Right. So I go, hey, dude, looks like Fed Smoker died. I'm 99% sure that's his car and his arm sticking out from under the tarp. And he goes, oh, shit. And he goes, I am not surprised. <laughs> and he goes, this is how this shit plays out. And then he wrote, I sure hope he wasn't feathering. And I go, <laughs> I go whoa. And he goes, you have really fucked me up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it makes me happy. You but, know, some great people make lasting impressions. And I feel like that's going to be Fed Smoker's legacy. I mean, fucking up Dr. Drew. Imagine that that purgatory moment where Fed Smoker is, you know, being judged by his peers or whatever. Right. Like the the angels in heaven. They probably like we haven't seen one like this in a while. Right. He's probably putting baby raper <laughs> stamps on all their faces up oh, there in yeah. heaven, grinding his teeth the whole time. Talking, talking. <laughs> Do you have a stinky twat? <laughs> They're like, oh man, this guy's a lot to handle. I just fear that there was some hanky panky business going on with him and the government got to him or something. It like can't that. be the standard thing, you know. Right. I wonder if there's gonna be like nine eleven style videos now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's gonna but be I mean there's people who are gonna make documentaries and when you're as embedded as him and you're a double secret agent. Yeah. There's all kinds of different things that could have occurred. You know? Absolutely. Christina, what do you think? <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, uh, let's uh, <laughs> let's do an official open to the show. All right. Yes. Let's do it. Here we go. How the only water I drink is sparkling water because sparkling water is for rich people, and I'll tell you why. You can get non-carbonated water, still water, from the fucking tap. The government gives you that shit effectively for free. <laughs> that shit is big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom, Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. guy he's is, right right i mean yeah he he is kind of right yeah just like he was kind of right about uh women should fucking clean up after yeah him. this guy is my gary v i mean and he's I, yeah. preaching the, you know what's funny is you know he's, he's saying all this ridiculous stuff it's uh it's very polarizing um provocative and you're like who the fuck is this guy he's a kickboxer right he like is a professional fighter right yeah or yeah was. so he's like all right or maybe he's retired now but it's just funny that do you think between rounds he was drinking sparkling water and not still water? I think his... it's hilarious like to to be to play let's say play the asshole <laughs> yeah uh in these videos and then be like yeah but this dude like if you're like fuck this dude could really beat the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It makes it a little easier to say ridiculous shit. It when you totally can just does. Roundhouse kick a guy's face off. He could beat up ninety nine point nine percent of the world. Yeah, I mean, if this guy was out and about and he was talking to me this way, I'd be like, "You're right. Yeah. That's totally true." Yep. Yep. Sparkling water. I don't water. get why people drink that horse shit. That flat water is fucking dog shit. It's for fucking you. poor people. Yeah, yep. you're right. Sparkling water you have to buy. So if you only drink sparkling water, you only drink rich man's water. I explained this to someone, some bumba club. And of course, he replied with the typical, book, but I don't like sparkling. You don't like sparkling water? You don't like water? Yeah, but the bubbles. The bubbles? You scared of bubbles, you little bitch? <laughs> See, you it's, know like, it's like a TED Talk. It's got the logo and yeah. everything. And he's like, you're a little bitch if you like tap water. That's his message. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Doesn't taste of anything. It has bubbles in it. Oh, you're afraid of bubbles? Fuck is wrong with you? This is another full grown man. Fucking 
some other bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you realize too that like if you were at dinner with him and he was like, I have sparkling water. And you're like, I'll just take tap water. He'd be like, what are you, a stupid bitch? He'd kick me out of dinner. No, then you'd be like, you know what? I, I do like sparkling water. I am water. a bitch. You're right. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. How dare I do Thanks that. for buying rich people water. Like if, if a waiter comes over and goes, what water for the table? A sparkling, please. I obviously answer because I'm the fucking boss. And then some little fucking bitch. Oh, I'm, uh, can I have a still? The fuck drink the water on the table. You're a fucking man. You're going to start cha- making the waiter run back and forth and change water orders because you can't handle bubbles? Pussy ass dudes. <laughs> Here's yeah. a question uh-huh. that might show my lack of college education. Yeah. Does sparkling water hydrate you the same way still water does? Well, I think that's a good question. I think the only thing is that some sparkling waters maybe have um Don't you sodium? think the carbonation would take away from the hydration aspect of it? No, I wouldn't think so. Oh, okay. I, don't I mean know. it's still H two O. Yeah, that's water. true. Um, the same. Let's see. It's a good question. Let's see what it says. I'm just wondering if this guy was just like, he had like, you know, his thermos that he'd get like, uh, between rounds at kickboxing and he'd be squirting sparkling water in his mouth. Would it have Look, the same it's, effect? It's exactly what you're saying. I can't see what it says. Well, to- it says, yes, it's, it hydrates you just as well. Oh, wow. Uh, this makes sense considering that carbonated water is just regular water infused with bubbly carbon gas. No shit. Yeah. So he's completely right. We shouldn't be even drinking this fucking piss still water. These poor people. Bullshit. Yeah. You should only drink sparkling water anyways because it's what aristocrats like myself drink. <laughs> the lord of all beasts of the land. <laughs> Fishes of the sea. We drink sparkling water, and you should want to be like me because I'm a better person than you. So, in every single possible tiny way you can emulate the great Andrew Tate, you should be doing the same things. I'm converted, dude. I mean, what would you like? There's a reason today? they have still water in toilets. That's right. It ain't bubbly on there. Nope. You can make it. If I see a man, if you ever meet a man who's afraid of sparkling water, know this: he's certainly afraid of combat. He's certainly <laughs> afraid of getting punched in the mouth. If he's afraid of a fucking carbonated bubble. Little pussy ass dude. God. He's so right. His dad was a chess master. What? Yeah. His dad was? This guy's dad. Yeah. No she no wonder he knows so much about being an aristocrat. Yeah. He's been yeah. all over all over the world. So if you're sitting there at a table and your friend won't drink sparkling water, he's not your friend. There because you go. when shit hits the fan and you get jumped and you're getting stabbed by you. ten randoms, he ain't jumping in front of knives to save your ass like a good friend should if he's scared of fucking bubbles in his water. God, I feel like I've been exposed today. Yep. You know, like I feel like it's making me rethink my relationship with you. I know. How many times have we been asked, sparkling or still? And I've ordered the fucking I guess it just shows what a poor degenerate I am. Yeah. I'm always going still water. Actually, I want to thank Andrew Tate for reminding me to cut Josh out of my life. It's really opened my eyes to what a piece of shit I am today. Yeah. This is a great session. God, it's like an intervention. Do you think you could leave now? I, I mean, I, I really think I should. Yeah. I feel like the I need to. The only water I drink is sparkling water. Sparkling water. water. Still water. Sparkling water, you sparkling water. You rich man's water. Bumba cluck. Sparkling water. Water. Water for the table. Drink the water on the table. The water order. Sparkling water anyways. Sparkling water. Drink sparkling water. Sparkling it's water. Just a Won't drink cut. sparkling water. Well, I don't even think I'm saying water, water correct anymore. Water. No, I don't think you are Pussy either. ass dudes. I say water like a poor person. Like it just... Yeah. You can hear the poverty in my voice. I think all you have to do is just kind of come to terms with everything you're doing and yeah. just change everything. I go to the opposite. Yeah. I know. This is true. This is but I, got, I do say, you're a handsome man and you trimmed your beard. I did. What accident. led to that? Oh, accident? I always fuck it up and then I have to yep. just start from scratch, you know? And sometimes I like to just mix it up a little bit, you know? Throw, uh, you know, throw down on the razor. Yep. Just go all the way to the face, see what's up. And what, did See it, what's uh, going on under there? You got to make sure everything's under there is going okay, you know? Yeah, I haven't seen my face in a long time. Are you scared of what could be possibly underneath it? Probably. Do you ever feel around and you're like, is that a lump or something? Like, what is that? I've felt things that hurt before. Yeah, and you're like, what I'm the like, fuck is Ow. that? And then I'm like, it'll go away. <laughs> it's hidden by the hair. Like the way that uh, any probably views his overall health. Like, he's like, eh, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I just find, I'm like, that kind of hurts. That's fine. Ah, well. Oh, well. The hair will cover it, and then it'll just out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. You yeah. know? Um, this guy I thought would be fun to look at with you. Yeah. Um, you don't have the best eyes, no. but your ears are tuned up. So tell me if you think there's something interesting going on here. Hey, everyone. I'm going to do another dollar video. I will. 
But another thing is not the J on Lexia thing, but this is really but there is something else on my mind. Hmm. <laughs> I think I've left a few voicemails at 3 a.m. that sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, just thinking about you. I think you're really nice. <laughs> I hate racist people. Oh. I don't know why they keep, keep that was clear. doing this, but I'm really fed up with it. My cousin married my cousin married a black man in the, and I'm fine with that. And I'm not and I'm not racist. Mm-hmm. Okay, that That's was pretty good. clear. He spoke that one pretty so clear. Why do people have to be racist to black people? I am really fed up by this. I want the I want all these racist idiots be to be in jail. Hmm. What is the N word? So <laughs> Is this the same guy? No, this is not the same guy. <laughs> um is so what is up? What's going on with this guy, though? He hates racists. I mean, I think he made but it pretty clear that you no, can that, understand what I, he's saying. I, <laughs> is something else going on? No, uh, I mean, just his hatred for racism. Why? What, okay, what do so you think? Go- all right, you're both. I think he's what, a, do you, what do you think's going okay, on? Okay, I think he's a progressive individual. Get, they don't. They don't change their way. I why to God there is gonna be trouble. There's gonna be trouble if they don't change their ways. Yeah, yeah. Racist people. <laughs> What do you think's wrong? I hate them. Hate, 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 hate them so much. They need to go to hell. Okay, can't there be a case made that his intolerance for those intolerant people is also racist? Is yeah. Like I feel like you got me in a pretzel. Do you feel like your <laughs> mind is twisted? Yeah, now? yeah. Now I feel like I'm going to start talking I mean, like, like that guy. Why do we have to shun the racists so hard that we send them to hell? There could be some good-hearted racists out there. Yeah. That you're just casting aside with the rest of them. Exactly. You can't do that. I mean, maybe, you know, he's talking about people that are in his family even, he said. Well, that's just wrong. Yeah. He should be more tolerant to racists. That's, that, I think that's the whole message we're trying to put out there today. Right. Is like maybe next time you see someone being racist, try to make a friend. The stereotype of a racist is that they're a bad person. Right. And I think we need to look beyond that. Look beyond, look at some of their more positive qualities. Right. What if they have like a nice lawn and you go like, how do you do that? And they go, oh, I have this whole, this fertilizer that I use. I mm-hmm. really take care of it. You know, and you're like, oh, so that you have knowledge to share. Right. You know, like. I recently just saw this video. I just, we just been watching this video because it's one old lady keeps being a race being a bloody racist bloody who's that black guy oh, he's british that's why he speaks that way i don't think that's that's, uh, that's gotta be it he's british i knew i sensed an accent is he pilled out i don't know you i think he's just from jolly old london i'm really fed up but he's, if people don't stop ra- being racist i swear to god I'm going to lose it, my mind. I'm really <laughs> bad up with this. And I'm not going to tolerate with this. Okay. I want it to stop. <sighs> well, I mean, he's really upset about race relations. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I could handle much more of him. No, I mean, you wanted to show him to me mm-hmm. because of what? I could hear him, understand him? Well, I just feel like that's kind of your wheelhouse. Ah, the pills part. Just <laughs> no, you're a speaker. You speak for a living. I thought you might want to see someone else speak. Oh yeah, no, he did. I mean, like I said, I sensed an accent. Then he said bloody. I was like, Liverpool. You nailed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Master of accents. Yep. Um. But you, you get you, what you, I was saying. Pussy. You get, man, guess what? I eat so much pussy. I I, I forget to eat spaghetti. <laughs> I forget to eat spaghetti. <laughs> You ever feel like just that? spaghetti specifically? I think just that's the one thing he doesn't eat. That's that wild. Often. I mean, you could imagine. No, no, like, Damn, Walt, did you eat today? No, but I had my head, my mouth up in that bitch's ass. What you was doing? How you lick it? How you lick it? Open it. Open, Open it. it high. Open it high and do what? Open it high. And do you what? Know, guess what? Open so, it high. Open it. Are you an ass eater? Sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. And this is like out of the gate. I mean, if it's there, if it's presented, and you happen to just test the waters, you know? 
Do you do a sniff test first? I mean, you can get a good gauge from a visual test when it's staring you right in the face. You, uh-huh. know? you ever you see, see one where you're up. like, I probably shouldn't put my mask on? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And what do, what do you see? Smears? Yeah, you just see a little bit of a darkness. Mm-hmm. But then every now, every now and then you're like, well, I'm a gamer. We'll see what happens. Yeah. You know? I've never had any adverse effects. I know guys that have had like borderline food poisoning from eating, eating ass? ass. Yeah, like really? E. coli kind of shit. Really? Yeah. And they got like really sick? Yeah. Wow. But I haven't had anything. I think I'm just, I have a fortitude about me mm-hmm. that it hasn't affected me in the same way. That's wonderful. I think so. Yeah. But I mean, when you see a real clean one, it's like, how could you pass that up? It's like, Oh, I agree. You can't not eat it. You should. You, you know should. what I mean? Yeah. And I think he's talking about, was he talking about ass or pussy in this I think sense? He said, I thought he said ass. And he's like, you start up high. It mm. doesn't really make that much sense to me. I thought, that's why I Open thought maybe he was talking about pussy because maybe he's like, I go for that clit. Right. High up. High up there, yeah. Yeah, which is smart, you know? That's yeah, a real flex, though, to be like... What else you do? Like, Damn, Walt, did you eat today? No, but I had my ass, my mouth up in that bitch's ass. What you was doing? Ass. How you lick it? How you lick it? Mm. Open it. Open, open it. it high. Open it high. I still yeah, you should open it first. Yeah. I think he's confusing them. Yeah, me too. I don't think you go high on an ass. It's like the tailbone. It's not a great spot. No. First, you got to get it wet. You got to go low. Get it wet. Get it wet. Mm-hmm. Then get it wet. And then they be like, mm, guess what? You threw, you threw. You're you going to get that 10 times more. Yeah. Now. He's giving a you lecture. You do that yeah. shit right, you're going to get it 10 times or more. And how you, how you, how you, how you, how you lick it though? How you lick it? How you lick it? I smell it. I you lick smell it. it. I, I smell I, it. I, That's smart. Dick work. Viagra, man. No, no. Dick don't work. That's right. You know, put the camera on me. Yeah. His, well, this started out as a real flex where he was like, I didn't even eat today. I yeah. ate so much pussy. And then, and then he's like, my dick doesn't work. It's like really collapsed. So then he wants to be, he's like, put the camera on me. Yeah. He's like, I'm comfortable with who I am. Right. And more situation. people should be that way. Yeah. He's saying his now dick doesn't work. Viagra TV. So guess what? Dick don't work. You got to hit it. You got, your tongue got to hit it and wet it good with your tip finger. And then guess what? You coming back 10 times. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> That's a good message out there. He's saying if your dick doesn't work, you got to get your oral skills up. Yeah. Which is smart. Which is really smart. Yeah. And then you can even be invited back. 10 times. Minimum. Apparently. It's pretty good. Yeah. I don't mind that. 10 times. Shit. 10 times. Fuck. He yeah. must must got that tongue game down. It's all about that repeat business. That's right. The comeback. Yeah. I think everyone should eat ass. Yeah, I agree. I'm trying to get my fucking <laughs> convince her. Every every um wife that I've met though, yeah, they keep shaking their head. They're it's like, got to be different not. to your husband, I'm sure. Yeah, they're 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 there for so many disasters, you know. It has to be also maybe like maybe on a special occasion you have like like Valentine's Day just happened, and you could just you maybe you had a, a special like once a year ass eating. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Or like a vacation, you go to Hawaii and you know, like you just have a really nice dinner, then you get your ass eaten. But That'd it's like nice. a once a year thing, like a vacation kind of thing. I mean, even that would be nice. Right, of yeah. course. Yeah. Because in a one night stand, you know, it's just like, well, I'm going to do this and I'm just going to go for broke. Yeah, exactly. It's the best. It is absolutely the best. Um, what else did I want to show you something before we leave here? I, uh, yeah, I just want to get my ass eaten. Um, <laughs> Look at this fucking lunatic on a safari. Look at that. Ugh. Papa. The lion gets into. Wow. That's with the. I would be. Have, I would have run away so fast. <laughs> They're all just sitting there. Yeah. Is that woman sitting there because she's immobile? In she, the back, she's just too big to move away. She appears to be. She looks. I mean, to the fucking lion. That's a steak. Jesus. Tigan Lion Park is located in Crimea, Russia. There oh, are about 80 that's why they don't give a fuck. Safari Park. They're Russian. But what does them being tigers. Russian have to do with it? They the don't give a fuck what this about lions. Is for. About and not because rules. lions are king of the jungle. <laughs> it's because at this park, you don't just observe them from behind a fence or a pane of glass. They come up to you and hug you, and they love to be hugged. What back. the, like the fuck? The only place that would would say like we're gonna sign off on lions just engaging with people 
is Russia. Russia also, is just like it's fine. And then like they would if some if like that girl got mauled by a lion, they would like they would put the bury the body. They would be closed for like half an hour, <laughs> and then they would be like, "Hey, we're back." Yeah. Well, also look at that line. I mean, he is heavily sedated. Yeah, there's no way they don't pump some wild Russian drugs into these lines. That's why the other one was like hugging. It was on Molly or some shit. Yeah, I know. It was like hugging the people and shit. It's crazy. This lady's riding the back of it. It's this not even moving. Whole thing would be terrifying to me. And like, it's all about where these things are located. And as soon as like this is in Russia, I was like, "Oh, I wouldn't go there." Sudden, <laughs> just Russia as a whole. No, I'd go to Russia, oh, but okay. I wouldn't go to any of their fucking safari camps. I just think now that you say it's Russia too, I just think the lions are incapable of hurting you because they're just too slow. Like you, if one was trying to attack, you would just be like, Rah, yes, and then you'd be able to run away or whatever. It's really crazy. They're on drugs. Um, so they're like the guy that was anti-racist. These lions. Oh, really? Does the owner do this? Let's see. Um, let's see. <laughs> See that lion's on Molly. They're like, it's fine. This man got lucky. He got a big hug. Oh, Jesus. He's scared as death. Yeah, yeah. He, how many people have shit in their pants? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I would. Oh, my God. I'm just. I'd just be sitting there in a pool of diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, that. everyone, they, they must have to hose down that trolley after this. Oleg Zubkov, who drives the tourist around the park, is a conservationist and the park owner. He hopes that by giving visitors the chance to hug and pat the lions and take photographs and selfies with them, that it will help discourage people from hunting Siberian tigers and white lions, which are endangered species with uh, respective uh, no. global populations of about 500. That's what I'm saying, dude. Those that line is on drugs, dog. No. He's fucked up. He's gotta be. He couldn't even chomp on that arm. The safari park is only possible with Oleg Zubkov. No one else. He can no feel the else. animals, predict their moods oh, he predicts and behaviors. Them. These are Not my every favorite. line is friendly. There are aggressive lions who live in separate enclosures. Also, a lion's personality can change with time. That is why Oleg Which, tests them constantly. Oh, yeah? I want that guy to go chill with the aggressive ones. Yeah, yeah. See if he can do any of that shit. Hey, Oleg, does this one pass the test? Yeah. I know you have your own spidey sense. <laughs> um, fuck this guy. I want to so, take him to Africa and be like, hey, man, go test that. Go snuggle with that one over there. Unbelievable. <laughs> hey, so you're on the road, right? Where I you, am. Tell us where you're coming up. Where you're gonna uh, be. I'm going to be April 2nd through 4th, Sacramento Punchline, and then uh, May 12th. I'm going to be at Huntsville, Alabama at Stand Up Live, May 13th, Nashville at Zany's, and then May 20th, Chicago, going to be at uh, Lincoln Hall, and just announced Washington, D.C., June 3rd at D.C. Improv. Hey, now. Wow, we right? Dude, you got a lot set up. I'm psyched. Go see Josh Potter, absolutely hilarious comic. All those tickets, I'm assuming there's links in your... Yes, there are. You can If you go to my Instagram or Twitter, there's links all up in that shit. All right, great. Uh, thanks for sitting in here for no a little problem. bit today. Um, thank you, everybody, for listening, for watching. I wish watching. Christina chimed in more. I wish she would have said more. Christina, you want to say bye, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> nope. All right. So... Uh, <laughs> So, uh, um, <laughs> of course, see Christina P online. She has uh, all her dates um, are there. You get tickets there to see her. Um, I am. You can see my shows. TomSegura.com slash tour. Got a Spanish bunch of Spanish shows coming up. I also have English shows. Um, I have a bunch of shows at the Mirage in Las Vegas this year in March, May, July and October. Uh, TomSegura.com. I'll announce a bunch of tour dates in April, but that's it for now. Enjoy this episode with Tom, Tom Papa, and Creation. Creation, excuse me. Creation. If you're listening to the podcast right now or you're watching, I want you to do me a little favor. I want you to take a second and look down. Do you see anything between your legs? Is it just hair? It's been a while. Don't lie. It's probably been a while since somebody serviced your junk department. And that's on you, pal. You need to get yourself the Manscaped 3.0. The perfect package 3.0 from Manscaped. They've been working on this 
for months, I believe 18 months, the engineers at Cock and Ball Inc., a.k.a. Manscaped, have been perfecting the Manscaped 3.0. Trim up your junk, man. That's what everybody, they want a nice, clean bean bag and schlong to work with. This thing is top of the line. Your balls will be safe. You're not going to bleed. And of course, you can get the prop, crop preserver, the anti-chafing ball deodorant, and moisturize. You already put deodorant on your armpits. You don't want to put on your balls. The Perfect Package 3.0 includes all this and the boxer briefs that keep your package cool. This is the perfect package for your perfect package. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code MOM20. That's M-O-M-2-0 at manscaped.com. Go once again, 20% off, free shipping with the code MOM20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use our code MOM20, your partner, your dick, and your balls will. Thank you. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Stamps.com. Postage rates have gone up again. Thankfully, Stamps.com eases the pain with big discounts off post office retail rates. With Stamps.com, you save five cents off every first class stamp and up to 40% off shipping rates, the kind of savings that really add up, especially for small businesses. Plus, Stamps.com is completely online, which saves you time. No more inconvenient trips to the post office. We use Stamps.com. We've been using it for almost a full decade now. It's so easy. They send you the digital scale. You put whatever you want to ship on it. It calculates it immediately, and then you're printing postage. Like you feel like you work in a federal office. How is this possible? It's possible because of Stamps.com. Use your computer, computer to print postage anywhere, 24-7, for any letter, any class of mail, any package, any time. And once it's ready, just hand it to the mail carrier. With Stamps.com, you get discounted postage rates. You can't even get at the post office. It's a fraction of the cost of those expensive postage meters. Stamps.com is a no-brainer, saving you time and money. Right now, our listeners get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long-term commitment. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in MOM. That's stamps.com. Enter the code word MOM. All right. Next guest is a veteran comedian. He has a new special on Netflix called You're Doing Great. One of my favorites, Tom Papa. Thank you very much for coming by. Thank you for having me. I did something special for you today. Yes. I was like, hey, you know, Christina, why don't you let the men talk? So I kept her home so we didn't have to, you know, deal with that nonsense. Dude, thank you very much. You're welcome. I was, didn't know how I was going to play it. And then just to walk in and you just know how be. They are. Oh, just freedom. Freedom. <laughs> Now we can talk the way we wanted to talk, like guys talk. Man, yeah. Yeah. Chicks, right? Chicks. Jeez. Fucking stupid mouths. <laughs> yammy, yammy, yammy. Yam it up with their dumb tits. Oh, now, I'm emotional. Uh, you don't know what... Women can't be president. So listen, <laughs> um, you've put out many specials. This is your first launch on Netflix? Correct. So how, how has it been? It's been great. Yeah? Yeah. It's, it's a fun ride, right? It's really great. Yeah, because you can feel it sticking. Like the word of mouth is so great. Like yep. people are into it, mm -hmm. and it's just like nothing but positive. Like flow for a week. It came out last Tuesday, and uh, yeah, I mean we're you know I, my last special I did for Epics, uh -huh. and you know that beautiful people, yep. nice people. But in all the interviews, you had to tell people what Epics was. Right. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, they're like, Epics? Yeah. yeah. How do I get that? Like, it's a lot to ask. It's a lot to ask people to watch you do anything. So, totally. It's a lot more to ask them to pay for a subscription, go to a website, get yeah. a password. <laughs> It's a, lot. <laughs> it's a lot so this is really fun I'm yeah really, this is really cool it's cool that like there's people like my parents or like my dad who i don't know i think i've been on netflix now for seven years yeah. in some capacity and uh -huh. like, i'll be like yeah i got a special coming on netflix he goes i gotta get that i'm like dude <laughs> Your your time's about to run out <laughs> yeah I'm like yeah you should get it and he goes how do i get it i'm like turn it fucking on <laughs> like the funny thing is that he goes, we had it, and it went away. I go, it doesn't just go away. Uh, I remember when I was starting, and I was like, 
I, I got Letterman. And they were like, can you get something earlier? Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. So now I'm on The View. Yeah. Can you get something a little more around four to five o'clock? <laughs> yeah. There's a, the, the evening news. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I could just... commit a crime. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, man. Yeah. It's so, but, but this is just great. You could just feel like, oh, okay. So people are seeing it and it's like, you know, they're into it. It's just been it's free are you traveling fun. this week or next week at all yeah this is this is also the thing about netflix it's you know their the reach is just so wide yeah that this week you'll get more like in airports they'll be like hey man right because they they'll they're watching you this week i didn't think about that so i yeah. should i should definitely get someone to travel with me so they can see it yeah there's nothing worse than oh, being yeah. recognized and no one's around it's the worst <laughs> <laughs> and then you you just feel so <laughs> shitty telling people about it. Yeah, even Oof. like your spouse, like you know, yeah. I, like you're like, I get safe to tell them, and you can tell that she's like feeling good. Then you're like, God damn it! <laughs> I wish you could have just seen it. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Uh, yeah, there's the the real sweet one is when you're with another comedian, especially if they're your good friend comedian. Yes, and they come and talk to you and have no idea who they are. Yes. That's a sweet spot. That's a Because <laughs> you know it's coming back to you in a couple of minutes. Of course. <laughs> but that's a really good one. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I mean, man, I there's even like, <laughs> you were getting like in the bathroom. Someone says something in the bathroom. And you come back to the table. You're like, I'm just trying to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <sighs> Fans. What are you going to do? Ooh, man, yeah. all over me. I don't so know. So crazy. <laughs> Shit, just leave me alone there's a mexican restaurant places we order takeout from all the time this yeah. is tony's mexican grill <laughs> and uh i when i first had my first thing i ever had in the la times they put a picture of me because i mentioned them they had a picture of me in the newspaper up on the wall uh -huh. so i would always whenever i walked in i would get like hey it's tom and they'd be a nice family it became a thing and uh since then they've painted the walls and the pictures off the wall but I still, when I call to get it delivered with my kids, my kids will bust me when they I'll be placing the order, and they're like, "You told them it was Tom Papa, didn't you?" <laughs> yeah, I did. Didn't work. Remember did the it? wall? <laughs> <laughs> I was that guy in that crusty newspaper. Yeah, it's still gonna take forty-five minutes. All right. <laughs> You used to give me extra fruit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you just want to feel important. Everybody does, though, man. Yeah. Everybody does. <laughs> yeah, completely. We had sushi delivered uh, from this place near our house, and then one day there was an extra box, uh -huh. and we're like, what's this? And you open it, and they're like, uh, we love the special. Ah. And I'm like, oh, this actually, this is the best shot. This is better than someone saying, I like you, or I... <laughs> recognize yeah. you yeah like, hey added food oh my god please I, I, I did a breakfast place one time where we ordered i ordered like eggs and yeah. then the guy brought french toast i go i didn't order french toast. he goes we're known for french toast and i enjoyed you know the the thing and i'm like <laughs> yeah right. and then my friend was with me he goes this is the best level of fame <laughs> free french toast free french toast yeah and no one's like taking pictures no, of no. you while you eat it no they're like, this is fantastic <laughs> no yeah. one's taking a picture and putting a magazine like fatty tom's oh, eating yeah. french toast oh, again oh, <laughs> yeah. like, what happened to the diet pal yeah it really is the worst though when you want it and it's not coming when i was when like i was living in new york and uh, the uh iphone was coming out like yep. a newer iphone one of those new things happening and robert kelly's like dude all you got to do is go just go hang out there. I know there's lines, you know, but you just walk in, let them recognize you, and they, they bring you right in the back. They do it with all the celebrities, and it's not even like huge people. They, and they'll bring you in the back, and they skip the line, get to the new iPhone, and I'm out of there in like 10 minutes. I was like, oh, really, Bobby? <laughs> and I go, and I'm hanging around making eye contact with anyone <laughs> in an Apple T-shirt. Nothing, nothing. Nothing happened. I came back. I'm like, Bobby, I mean, nothing. I mean, they did, that didn't work at all. He goes, nah, it didn't work for me either. <laughs> I waited three hours like any other Trump. Yeah. yeah, I could have been in line the whole time. Yeah, and gotten the thing done. No, whenever you like really <laughs> want it, it it doesn't happen. No, yeah. no, exactly. Yeah. Like in a hotel, like uh, trying to get an upgrade or now when you really want it, it doesn't happen, and it shouldn't. Right, <laughs> it shouldn't really. It keeps you like kind of grounded and uh, normal. I had a. Uh, when I was doing a show, I was living in California and I was doing a show in New York. So I was traveling back and forth all the time. And it was, uh, and they had to travel, 
fly you in the union, they have to fly you business class the whole time. So I was getting business class flights all year, and then it was just great. And then it got canceled. The, the show got canceled. And then I ran out of my own miles. Like the juice, it was like another year yeah. later, I'm back to Tom again. Yeah. And I'm in coach on United, sitting in the back, just middle seat, back to normal. Yeah. And the flight attendant, this flight attendant comes back and he goes, what are you doing back here? <laughs> And I'm like, my show's canceled. I'm over. I got no, I got no prospects. He goes, oh my god. And he, <laughs> he he marches to the front. And then like uh, towards the end of the flight, he comes back with a cookie wrapped in a napkin. He goes, you'll be back. <laughs> oh my god. He handed me the cookie. Oh my god. And the coolest thing is, five six years later, I was in business class, just getting an an upgrade. And he came over and he goes. I told you you'd be back. Really? Five years later. Five years later. He remembered me, the whole thing. He goes, I knew you'd be back. Do you remember me? I'm like, you. You're in my nightmares. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw a therapist because of you. Yeah, exactly. You made me feel, you confirmed that I should feel as bad as I did <laughs> the, at the time. Because, no, I mean, like, the, like the, the feeling of being back there and you're like, this sucks. Yeah. To have somebody articulate it yes. loudly. <laughs> In front of everybody. Yeah. And then he leaves and everyone's like, well, who do you think you are? Wait, yeah. You shouldn't yeah. be here with us. You're like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just like you guys. I'm not. I'm actually, I have a pretty important skill. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll see. Oh. I'll, uh, yeah. I'll be back. Oh my God, dude. Oh, I was just in coach coming back this Saturday. I had this crazy like show near San Francisco, red eye to New York. Did a show right back at six in the morning. You know, the dad flight back. Yep. In in, uh, in coach next to this old couple. And this woman next to me would fart. And it would be loud. It would surprise me. It would surprise her equally. And then she would get up and like run to the bathroom. Like something was happening. And she had to go take care of it every time. It happened like six times on the flight. Loud farts? Loud. Like like a grandma loud, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. Not like man loud. Right. Like grandma loud. Yeah, it's a different type of fart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, but it, enough for me to hear it with my bows on. Yes. And uh, <laughs> With your bows on. <laughs> with my bows on. Fart, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's close. Yeah. And uh, that that's tough to like feel good about being in coach. Like you're trying not to be like, I'm, I'm in the front row of, of coach where I, if I get the upgrade, I mean, it's right there. People yeah. are laying down in beds with blankets right there there it's the worst and i could and i'm just uh, that american airlines thing where you're just and i'm just trying to be you know what don't be an asshole tom just be cool big what you should be buying business why yeah just sit there for six hours like a normal person and just what why do you this is the part of my head and then this lady's farting on me for six hours i'm like i really do not deserve this (laughs) (laughs) well you didn't deserve the farts (laughs) i didn't no but that's all that happens back there. There's a, there is such a thing. I mean, we get so used to talking about it as comedians. You remind yourself that the nation, the world, really is full of business travelers, right? And when you're a business traveler, there is such a thing. Like there's such, you get fixated on the upgrades and the status, yeah. and, because the misery <laughs> of commercial travel is real. It's real. It's like miserable. You know, I've been writing a lot over the last couple of years. Yeah. Where I've got stuff. I've got. To, I haven't seen a movie on a plane in two years. And I, when you're in coach, if the guy in front of you puts his chair back a hair, you can't open your laptop. Mm-hmm. It's almost they're li- like they're like you're poor. Why should you try and get up? Why should you try and make more money Stay doing there. what you do? <laughs> Stay there and miss your assignments. Do you now? Do you feel this? Because I had I just had this conversation with Matt Fulshron about there's this thing now where uh, I, I, I never even knew this was an issue. And I feel like people are more vocal about it now mm. where you're on a plane and you recline mm. and people are like, hey, yes, uh, what are you doing reclining? Yeah. And you're like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a foul. But they, they all, but they all recline. So like you can recline too. Is it a foul to recline? It's a foul. Why? Because they've shrunken the amount of space that they're jamming us in back there. Yeah. They literally have taken all the space away. So what you could recline and not really mess up the person behind you. Now, if you just go a little bit, that guy is suffering. So you should not recline. You shouldn't recline. It's over. Really? Yeah. Get a neck pillow, drop it in front. 
It's uh it's a courtesy. I mean this this is But they've put us in that situation. It's not it's not the person behind you being unreasonable. It's not But you. it seems like they are being unreasonable. It's not them. You're doing it too it's they've just there's just no give. There's no give. It's the same as like the But over- isn't there a logic to hey man, they go back for a reason. Yeah. Right? Like but that's a fake. It's that's a, a fake. It's a fake by the airline. It's like we still give you room. Go uh, ahead, recline. I see what you're saying. Why? Yeah, and then you recline, and you're in a fist fight with a with a, a, a copy machine salesman from Des Moines. Yeah, <laughs> because he's at his wits' end because he's on this flight all the time and he right. can't open his goddamn laptop. I didn't consider the laptop part of it. Oh, I didn't consider that part of it. It's but, infuriating. But I, I mean, the idea that like if I go like this, someone's like, "Hey, man," I'm like, "Well, hey, what?" Like, I know you can recline too. I'm. I try to let it all go. Yeah. I try to let it all go. And if you want, if you recline, all right, I'll just deal with it. Yeah. You don't know. Maybe, you, maybe this is your only flight for the year. It's true. People who don't fly all the time. Yeah. yeah. They don't know. And they, hey, it does recline. Okay. You know, I'm not going to attack. And I have a, a brother-in-law that is like this traveler salesman, frustrated kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. And when someone, he like, he He's thinking about the guy reclining in front of him on his way to the airport. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And down the jet bridge. <laughs> yeah. He's, oh, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Yeah. And then he did it. And he starts jamming it. And he gets like aggressive. And there's a lot of guys like that. There are guys like that. That are. I had yeah. a woman like that. Yeah. Behind me one time. And she goes, hey, 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 you can't do that. And I was like, what? She goes, you can't do it. I don't have any room. Just got, she got real loud about it. Yeah. And I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, I don't have any room. I don't have any room. <laughs> I was like, okay. So, I know. Those people yeah. are at their wits end. They are. And one time I, I reclined. This is like 10 years yeah. ago. And I just went like in one swoop motion. Uh-huh. And I just heard, ah! Like, like that. <laughs> and I was like, what? And I, I turned. He goes, my knee. <laughs> you hurt my knee. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> It was, a, it was an older guy. <laughs> my knee. My knee. You hurt my knee, man. Oh, uh, you're killing me back uh, here. I was like, I'm sorry. I really just feel like they've taken, they've really just sucked so much of the space out to the point where I even have like a wheelie bag that, you know, was sold to me for overhead and they're like oh this isn't and they're like no that doesn't fit anymore that's like the old and you went back to the Toomey place and the new one is like so much smaller right and you're just torturing the shit out of people you're shrinking it down and now you can't fit your (laughs) wheelie bag up in the top and then but and everyone's fighting for the top because they're being charged extra money a lot of people they're just paying for the ticket right now you're going to charge them for their bag and you're telling them it can't we're all in this like intense battle royale, and we can't. Um, I don't know, man. Like, no, not one person or group is to blame. But you know, you you travel abroad and you go, why does everything seem to be oh. working so much better? You know, oh. I mean, the, the domestic travel here, it's all a nightmare. It's you, a nightmare. You pull up into LAX. If you, I'll tell you, give you an idea of LAX. Is like, <laughs> you pull up to LAX, the cars are backed up out onto the streets yeah that are that lead up into it right like it's like you're out on el segundo boulevard or whatever it's longer to drive around the airport than it is to get to the airport then they're like you don't want me to drop you off at departures right you're like i mean i am leaving (laughs) yeah and they're like well that's real long so i'll drop you off at arrivals yeah you take you take five escalators up and you're like okay and then there's chaos there. There's chaos <laughs> yeah. at TSA security. The, yeah, you get to the gate and it's just a mo- like, you know, they, they, they you board by zones and it's just uh, a mob of people. A Sometimes mob. You ever, I've done this where I've stood behind somebody and I can see them holding their ticket mm-hmm. and I've I've gone, uh, oh, you're not boarding right now. Yeah, and they're like, what? I go, you're zone three. Yeah, you're not boarding yet. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, what? What does that mean? I go, look at your look at your ticket. And Good then, for you. And then they're like, oh, okay. And then they'll just walk up. Yeah, you know, anyway. They, yeah, they walk up. Because oh, some people I know. do the- um, Oh, they're scumbags. The, the faux ignorance. They're like- They pretend they have Alzheimer's. Mm-hmm. They're just like bumbling with their ticket. It happened to me in Newark. Yeah. And this guy, it was a massive 
and they were holding boarding, so the the crowd was swelling. Yeah, and it was just like you know, and they're like really being adamant about the zones. And this guy had like a six on his. Yeah, and he had a hat, and he was doing every move, every passive aggressive, trying to make jokes with people on his way up, mm-hmm. trying to do. And we're look, I'm looking at him, and I'm like, this mother, he is. He is just going for it. Yep. There was no justice. There was no stopping him. People were saying loudly, this is only zone one right now. And, and it's like war of the worlds, just yep. trying to get down to the dock. And he got to the front and the gate attendant, which is your last line of That's defense, it. That's it. looked at it and said, uh-uh. That's the best. And he's like, what? The, yeah. That's f- fake ignorance. Yeah. What? Yeah. This is zone six, sir. Oh, I'm just with my friend up there. Another bullshit thing. Yeah. No, sir. Get Get out of the line, that sir. That makes you feel sick. People were like, yeah, yes, yes, you that's got best. it, you twerp. I love the gate agent that sets uh, him straight. I do. It's like, well, so what's do the I. point of the fucking system? She literally said, the one thing I hate in this world is sneaks and liars. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a I one. love you. Because some of them are broken. And they, you're zone six, and they're like, fuck it. Just get on. Right. They don't care. Yeah, they don't that's, care. That's why that person's going for it. That's right. Because they might get that gate agent who's like, yes, I just let anyone on. Most of the times, if you act like an asshole, you are rewarded. That's true. I say it to my wife all the time, like when she's calling for something, like for the house or something at school with the kids. Yeah. And it's like, nope, they say they wouldn't do it. Guess yeah. she's not going to summer camp. They, yeah. they just won't let. I'm like, you think that other moms are not like raising hell? I said, you have to act like a spoiled piece of garbage. Yes. And you're get you'll get everything you want. Mm-hmm. If you're just like, oh, that's cool. All right, yeah. sorry. They said no. Yeah, they yeah. said no. 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 You gotta no. call up. My child yeah. is getting in there. Who do you work for? She is on drugs. <laughs> and she will stay on them unless you let us. All right, all right. You are killing my daughter. <laughs> I had a guy once, this is like the opposite where they go and we are because you know they also have multiple announcements. Yeah. So they'll be like, "We're boarding," and then they're like, "Like, no, that gate's boarding, not this gate." Right. Like, exactly. Right. No, we meant Charlotte, North Jesus. Carolina. Okay. So they announce, "We are pre-boarding this flight. If you need extra help." And the guy here goes, "Are you going to board?" And I go, "Well, no." He goes, "Well, they're boarding," and I go, "They're pre-boarding. Do you need to pre-board?" And he's like, "My God." <laughs> like but he's like real aggressive. Like he's like, "Are you not going to walk?" Uh, and I was like, "Well, no." Like, traveling with someone is the best way to see if you can be friends with this person. True. It comes out when you travel and people get in those stress and it is stressful. I get it. Mm -hmm. But if you get, if you like, I've had good friends that just become that guy. Yeah. Just like, well, but that's just the way it did. And you're like, (laughs) like, Oh, I guess we're not hanging out anymore. (laughs) I I did a bunch of dates with Josh Potter Uh and uh, he has, you know, thick glasses. He has bad vision. So I was like, Hey dude, we're boarding. Di- we're boarding different zones. Uh-huh. Just get in the handicap zone, <laughs> and and just say you need help. Yeah. And and he was like, okay. So I I walked him over to this line, <laughs> and I go, he needs help, and I just left him there. <laughs> and then I walked over, and they're like, and he did this. He looked up, and then a guy, another passenger, was like, I'll help you. And he was like, thank you. And then and then. <laughs> He put his hand on that guy's shoulder. They walk down, and the guy goes, "Hey, man, that's Tom Segura over there." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, really?" He goes, "Yeah, he recognized you." And I was like, "Oh, that's great." And, and he's like, "I can't see." He's who, like, "I don't even know who." Was. I've never saw Tom Segura because I can't see things. I don't see at all. <laughs> I was like, "We got to do this all the time." What well, would be great if that guy was zone six and in on the scam? Mm. <laughs> and he's like, "I'll help him." I'll help. <laughs> He's like, I know you can't. I know you can see, you fucking asshole. Um, oh, so, so wait, where did you shoot the special? I shot it in Newark. You shot it in Newark? Yeah, Newark, New Jersey. What did, was, was there any reason you chose it or no? Well, I'm from Jersey. and okay. You don't strike me as a Jersey guy. Yeah. You know why? Why? Articulate, put together. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is funny yeah. how we have so many associations with different places. Yeah. And like, you know, Jersey for most people just symbolizes nothing nice no i know you know well you fly into newark airport Mm -hmm. and you get on the new jersey turnpike yeah and you watch the jersey shore and you think that's jersey right and you're like and for 95 percent of it it is yeah (laughs) it's pretty accurate yeah but there's some good there's still a lot of great stuff for it and i i just have this affinity for all of these great old cities in new jersey Mm -hmm. like passaic and patterson and newark and trenton and camden and like 
These were all like amazing places, amazing cities that are all on their ass. Yeah. They're just, you know, poverty and drugs. And it's a lot of tax money in New Jersey and it's a lot of corruption. These politicians just ruined these great, great places. It is amazing how uh, there can be these like a corrupt city. Yeah. And the corruption seems like it's in the DNA. Mm -hmm. Like you, like Chicago is another place yeah. where the corruption lasts decades. So deep. Uh, and into like centuries. And you think about it, like if you, I've thought about it like in these places and I've done stuff for politicians in New Jersey and you see these guys and they don't seem like bad people. Some seem shady, but you know, like I always think like, well, what if I were to become the mayor of one of these towns? Right. Do you realize like what those first week of meetings must be like? Oh, yeah. Like who shows up and who tells you the way things really run? Right. You're like, I'm going to make clean the streets and yeah. they're going to have lemonade stands and we're yeah. going to help the schools. Right. And some dudes like, so this is what happens. You give us a hundred thousand dollars off of the transit budget mm -hmm. every six months or your wife uh, will be chopped up yeah. and put in the river. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's got to be a lot of that right. going on or that. And also like or if you by the way, if you don't grant these guys this bill. Right. Um, the problem. The thing is that they are in bed with these guys. Right. And they're going to block the thing that you want to do. So it's up to you. Deep, like, deep okay. rooted people making a lot of money off of it. And but there's when you're in these places, you know, my sister runs this nonprofit in uh, Clifton called City Green, which helps all of these young families and people in these cities with uh, city gardens and learning gardens. And yeah. it's through nature trying to help these places out. And it really has like a real effect. And but you, you just see like there's a craving of these people that are living in these places. It's their city. It's their life. That's, they can't move anywhere else. They just want a good, happy life. Right. And they're struggling. So I just felt like if I did any like any just little shine a light, I think it takes a million lights. But I think if just shooting my special in Newark in this great Victoria That's theater cool. was a cool thing to do. Yeah. You know, and it and. Uh, you know, because I come from there, I had this great following. So they all showed up. So the shows had a real pop to them. Yeah. They're all, you know, my fans and they're excited to be there. And it was just, uh, it also gives positive. people there, like, you know, whenever anybody, when, whenever you shoot a, anything anywhere, yeah, the people in that town always have a sense of pride about that. You know? Totally. Which they don't cool. forget it. I did no. one in Cleveland yeah. and I'm like, you know, I have, uh, it's like that's my one of my hometowns now you right know? like every time you go back every time you go back they remember yeah and this special is like very uplifting it's very positive it's very much like you know you're doing great yeah you're kind of fighting against the anxiety of the world like i know things aren't amazing but you know what they're not supposed to be yeah and you actually are doing pretty great yeah so that whole kind of that whole kind of uh theme in that place with those people just seemed like the right combo. Very cool. Yeah, it That's was very fun. cool. Yeah, we were talking about you yesterday because Bert and I were were thinking we were like, you know, we've both we didn't know this. We both have talked to therapists about the fact that we feel badly about not having hobbies. Uh huh. Um, and it's like you know, like hobbies seem cool, and we both <laughs> at the same time were like, you know, like Tom Papa with bread. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, it's like did yeah. you always have a passion for that no so it just it came about yeah i always liked to cook like yeah i come from italians mm -hmm. so there was a lot of cooking in our heritage and yeah. my mother was a great cook and my grandparents and food was always the thing that united us sure i would hang with my father eating food like yeah. it was a thing you know and uh are you both of your parents italian yeah um yeah one is full italian one is italian and german okay and um and it was just food is a way that we just kind of celebrated and connected. And it was a, another language, you know, so it, it wasn't it. So I would always cook a little bit. Yeah. And then when I was just in this writer's room with a friend of mine and he started telling me about sourdough bread and how he bakes it from this live starter that he has in his refrigerator. It's this living organism that you turn into bread. And I came home and just told my family about it at dinner. And my daughter got a sourdough starter going for me for Christmas. 
and gave me this goo. <laughs> you just put flour and water in a bowl. It's very thoughtful, by the way. Very thoughtful. And I think uh, only a daughter would do that, not a son. Yes. You know what I mean? No, If you totally. had a son, he'd be like, did you ever fucking make that bread? <laughs> right. Your daughter's like, I thought I thought about yeah. that thing you said that way. And time. I stirred it together and I yeah. hid it from you for a week. <laughs> yes, and like, now here's your city. Yeah. Very female thing. Very girl. Yes. Very girl. And uh, And I just started doing it and it was so great. It was very meditative and it was like you talk about having a hobby. I never really had a hobby either. Right. And this is a hobby that you can eat. Yeah, it's the best. <laughs> you know? Yeah. At the end. And the house just fills with that smell of bread. And I just started getting really good at it and just kept, I couldn't believe I was doing it. So it, that led me into doing it more and more and more and learning about it. And then all of a sudden, this is what you're kind of craving is yeah. you're looking at websites, you're getting books, you're ordering yeah. stuff and you're doing all this. I just... I just got really, really into it. And um, I started putting up uh, videos on YouTube called uh, Getting Baked with Tom, mm -hmm. uh, just to show other people how to get into this hobby. Yeah. So if you ever want to look at it, like to see like That's how awesome. to do it, because it's not like, I'm not a pro, I'm not gonna tell you, this isn't gonna be like now, a chef telling you, but right. it's like a comedian saying, I don't know, I use this wooden spoon and put it in here. And it works for and me. And it works. But it's it is a cool thing to have in your life for sure. I think sure. so. I think I mean I've done I did a cooking class. Uh -huh. I've done two, and I got enormous satisfaction out of them, especially applying, yeah. like just those one day classes. Yeah, to yeah. making something. Yeah, and then, and then of course you eating it, but like really it's like giving it to other people. Be like, hey, I made this, and yeah. you see them go like, Jesus, that's a know. that's a big thing. Do your does your family like? The sourdough bread? They do. They do. They do, yeah. That's pretty cool. And when it's missing, like if I'm away for a while mm -hmm. and it's missing, they all feel guilty about buying bread now. Oh, right. Yeah. And because it's so much shittier. It's right. so like, ugh. It's not even real bread. Yeah. You know? And there's something to it. There's like a part of your subconscious that is satisfied by getting better at something. And, exactly. you know, you do it with your act and you do it with your career and all that, but that's balled up in everything else you know and yes. taking care of your family and making money and doing all that kind of stuff and where there's joy in performing it's different this is like a quiet small thing mm -hmm. that all of a sudden years into it just your sense of like knowing exactly how much flour is in your hand at the, and you, you put it on the scale and you're right yeah you know what i mean or yeah. exactly how long that's going to be or just feeling it and knowing this is going to actually turn out amazing mm -hmm. and and you're not even close to the end all those little things that your subconscious is now educated on and mm -hmm. became good at doing yeah it, there's something weird that happens to you you just get a sense of belonging and achievement and peace yep which sounds kind of deep but it those does small sound things deep. do give it to you and and i think those are ultimately the things you're seeking when you go i want a hobby yeah i want to i want to it's not just that i want to master this one thing yeah it's that i want all those little connectors to go off right? yeah like i know how this bow feels in my arm or, right you know i mean like yeah yeah the familiarity of something specific mm -hmm. that not everybody can do yeah but i have some proficiency in doing that brings me satisfaction yeah you know what would you what else would you do is there well i mean the cooking thing is, is definitely a exciting thing i've always loved cars yeah you know i've done like track days and i and it is a thrill it really is I yeah mean, i think it's beyond the thrill that people imagine who just go oh you just want to race it's like yeah you end up realizing that the car is a machine like any other like a computer is a machine right and you know somebody can get on this computer and blow your mind like yeah. writing code and when you uh when you take you think you're a proficient driver yeah if you've been driving a while and then you you go for a lap with a with a professional driver yeah. and you're like, Jesus, I might as well be fucking 13. <laughs> you're right. Like the way that they command the machine. Right. And so like those little, the, the, I like that about that experience. Yeah. That the guy is telling you to break somewhere and you're like, how can I possibly break there? Yeah. And make this turn. It's like, cause that's just how the physics of this work. And you're taking that, that machine to its highest yes. level yeah. and seeing what it can do. Yeah. It's fun. It's, it's amazing. Really fun. So I really enjoyed that. Um, I guess like, you know, I can pursue it. One of the things that like holds you back, so uh -huh. to speak on that, is the, you know, the burden of, you know, getting to the, like, That's there's a not, lot. A, there's not a track like no, I know. Ne near your house. It's a big day. You know, it's a big day. Yeah. So that's one of those things. And I think with our, the type of careers we have, you have so much limited time yeah. to do something, you know. No, it's hard to come home 
it's hard to have some hobby or some golf or something where you come home off the road and say, now I know I've been away, but now is my golf weekend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. no, that's not happening. I will see you guys <laughs> midweek. Yeah. yeah. But the comedians like Seinfeld and Leno. Yes. Who love it. Yes. Either, either they're always looking to buy the next one, uh -huh. that becomes part of the hobby. That is part of the Reading hobby. Reading about it, buying yes. it, researching, finding I, the great ones. I do consume the information yeah. and, and I enjoy that. Yeah, and then Leno takes it to another level which is the mechanics of it, like really getting in the shop with it and working that, that on That is it. of no interest to me. Yeah. I, I think I've, I'm much more just like, I like studying, like, uh -huh. you know, like looking at them, figuring out what their performance is yeah. and, and saying like what, whether or not I, there's like this yeah. reaction visceral reaction to it uh -huh. but like he's like you know you got to change the oil and i'm like no you don't <laughs> yeah no, i don't i don't need to right so, <laughs> yeah i don't do that no yeah i was thinking about bert actually on the way over because uh he seems like he's getting into wine now oh yeah it, in like a different way like like he's i saw him hold up a couple like nice bottles uh -huh. and i'm like that's a tricky hobby though because <laughs> i did it too where you're like yeah, this is no, this is 2003 yeah. Chateauneuf de Pop from whatever. Yeah. And you're like, you can jazz it up all you want. Yeah. You're still hammered at, at midnight. <laughs> you know what I For mean? For sure. <laughs> it's, sure. A, it's a tricky hobby. I've enjoyed that, um, that <laughs> educating myself a little more on wine. Sure. Because I've always been like, I don't know, red. You know? <laughs> I, know. I know. And then you start, I started to understand certain pairings make more sense. Yeah. It's, it, I mean, it feels it, good to like actually is. comprehend that. Sure. But um, yeah, it feels like you, I could go down a real it's, dark path with yeah. like, I'm a wine guy. <laughs> I know. And it's not even like a, it's not even like dark, like getting hammered dark. No. It's like a money pit too. Oh yeah. It's like all of a sudden I found myself in like a wine shop. Like, Did you spend $60,000? <laughs> Yeah. Well, you don't understand the value. So. No, but it's a 2005. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's, and then there's like that with whiskey and yeah. bourbon. Yeah, oh, the bourbon, that hop. Yeah, I know. That's why bread is very, it's very good. It's healthy. Like there's no negative off right. of it. Because even like as fattening as carbs can be, uh -huh. this kind of bread, it's flour, water, salt, and yeast, and it's breaking the sugars down before you even eat it. So it doesn't have the impact as on you on a dietary way that, yeah. that other bread has. So there's like really nothing bad with it. My favorite bread like food in the world <laughs> uh -huh. are croissants. Oh my God. And I, I did mini croissants in a French cooking class. You did? Yeah. And I, and, and then I, my, one of the things that I mastered uh -huh. that, because in, in the funny thing is <laughs> it's a French cooking class. And they brought out a book and they're like, here's these 12 things. I'm like, we're yeah. doing these today, 12 things. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, no, we'll practice a few and then the rest you'll do at home. I'm like, well, the ones we'll do at home, we'll just, we'll never do them well. Yeah. Because you're not teaching us them. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tell us like, what are we going to learn? And then he's like, well, what do you want to learn? I'm looking through this thing. I have to like page through it quickly. Uh -huh. And I was like, I mean, chocolate souffle. So <laughs> I did that that day. And then I made chocolate souffles. Like yeah, every night for a few months. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. And then like, I put on like I don't know twenty five pounds, <laughs> and like people would come over, you know. And yeah. Like, do you guys want a chocolate souffle? And they're like, that seems like a lot. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. do you want to just <laughs> have dinner? And yeah. I'm like, I'll make you a chocolate souffle. <laughs> so it just would. I would just you know. I That's just good. But I now I haven't made them in a while. Yeah. Yeah. That is a high impact thing. I do feel like you should get good cooking wise. Yeah, you know, it's busy. You should get good at making like a handful of things. Yeah. Like there is like maybe four or five like great pasta dishes I can make. Yeah. And I'm just I'm not gonna vary. I'm not I'm not gonna pretend I can do everything. Yeah. But just get really good. Like I always thought like piano, mm -hmm. it would be cool to know one song. Yeah. Really well. Yes. Be at a party and just be like, oh, piano. Oh, and then yes. just walk away the coolest <laughs> the coolest the coolest you don't have to learn you don't have to study forever you don't have to learn I know, everything about it's piano. worth getting a piano teacher to be like can you teach me just one cool song one billy joel song and then i'll just that'll be my thing <laughs> yeah like, and then you always walk away yeah and people are like it's fucking still there nah, okay. i don't want to show off eh, you know. <laughs> yeah no i think getting really good at small things is is a smart move yeah because there's not enough time to get really good at something that so has so much depth to it yeah. not when you're busy you got your act to do you got your yeah. family you know 
That's, that's, that's one enough. song. That's enough. You're right. I think I, I want to pursue that. I was uh, I was at uh, Largo last night doing a show, and I and Zach Galifianakis was on, and he's been begging me to show him how to make bread. And I, so I put some sourdough starter, which is just like paste. It's like goo yeah. in a mason jar. And I gave it to him. And it was almost like he didn't realize what he was asking for. Like, he was like, I just want to bake bread. And he's like holding this goo in his hand like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's in the garbage right you're now. Like, uh, you're like the, the it's like, he's like the kid who's like, I want to learn how to box. <laughs> And you're, you're you gave you put like a pair of shoes in front of his house you're like run twelve miles right. and he's like I just want to fight people <laughs> exactly yeah, he's like maybe I don't want to box yeah. yeah why did you give me a jump rope yeah because you're gonna jump rope for a long time first yeah um, is this the lady you think that you sat next to on the plane oh. <laughs> it kind of looks similar I got it. I got to shoot. The lady next to me was more frail. Yeah. But she did have the same glasses look. Could be her. It could be her. That is how she went down the aisle. Like I said, we were in the front row. (laughs) Just like that? Yeah. Hand on her ass? Hand on her ass. Like, I've got to make it. Got to make it. I love that she was like, oh, I'm doing a cool fart video. (laughs) And then the immediate regret of like, oh, that's right. This can happen when you make fart videos. (laughs) Right. You can push too hard. (laughs) Something actually came out of my ass. (laughs) The gas is actually there for a reason. <laughs> Did uh so wait, you shot this when? I shot it probably end of October. End of October. How much new stuff you got? Um uh, about 20. Yeah. Okay. About 20 cuz they moved it up. They liked it so much that it was going to come out in the spring and they moved it up to February. So I my plan of how much time I was going to have to gather up some new bits was shortened yeah but it's you know i don't i don't beat myself up about it i like that tell me talk to me tell me how you like well i get this is like you know we've both been through this a few times yeah so now you get to the point where you're like what i tell people is that the dread of oh i need new Mm -hmm. i need new stuff is familiar yeah it's still it still feels uh, there's like an emptiness and a dread that i feel yeah but I recognize it, and I know it'll go away. Mm-hmm. I know I have to do the work. Yeah. But I still feel the shittiness. Of yeah. Like, Fuck. Yeah. It, you know. It's complicated because, right. so somebody sees your special. Yeah. And they, you come to the town, and they're like, "Why didn't you do that bit?" Yeah. Well, I'm going into new stuff, and they look at you kind of cross-eyed, like. Yeah, but I really like that bit. And that works. And I saw it once and I wanted to see it live and you didn't yeah. do it live. And why are you doing this stuff that's kind of funny? Right. <laughs> right. I really love that that bit. So, and that was happened to me all the time. Like, you know, I'd go to a club and they'd be like, we see you every time you come through the last four years. And, and I always get paranoid. And I'm like, I hope you're seeing some new stuff. And they look at you like, what? That's not even, what are you talking about? We just like you. And there's this, con- yeah, right. We just yeah. like you. We yeah. just like you. We just want to be, come to the Tom show. Yeah. And I really believe that there is a small minority of snarky comedy nerds that will go on Twitter and be like, I saw it before. Yeah. Yeah, I saw half of it, whatever. And that plays to our artistic uh, insecurities to such mm-hmm. a degree that you feel really bad. Mm -hmm. And 98% of the audience does not care. And they know you're working through some stuff. And if you were to have some chunk of the stuff, short answer is, I'm not gonna go up and bomb when I go to Minneapolis just in the honor, in in, in the name of getting new stuff. Right. This is their one time they're gonna see me in these two years. I'm gonna kill. This is their night out. They wanna see me. If If they're gonna come back, this has to be a good experience. Yeah. So wherever I'm at, I'm at. Yeah. If I've got 20 minutes of new stuff and do a little crowd work, that's more than half the show is new. Right. That's. I agree. That's I, pretty great. I I totally agree with you. Yeah. When you do, uh, when you're at this stage right now, are you like, are you the morning wake up note guy? Like, you know what I mean? Do you like, yeah. do you do long hand or do you just go like. <laughs> Oh, I'm just gonna try something tonight. Like, how- no, I still write. I still like to write. I still, yeah. I like to rewrite. Mm-hmm. You know, like I have a I have this chunk of stuff that I'm working on now, and it when I first brought it up, it was just a couple lines of an idea that I wanted to go into. Basically, that 
that assholes have had their moment and it's time for the good guys to come back. Yeah. And I had a couple ideas and then I went up on stage with it, did it, and then I get to work on, then I'll start to write it. Yeah. Like go back home and be like, okay, so that was, that. there was something there. You get excited. That, oh, they, this, yeah. that premise is good. And then I start noodling around with it and see if I can go further with it, then bring it up on stage. And depending what the week is, how motive, you know, I don't want to, Pretend that I'm like, you know, really cracking it every time. You know, sometimes you all of a sudden your life gets away from you and you're on your way to the comedy store again and you haven't done anything on it. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, ah, yeah. just listen to it, though. I yeah. do record it. And That's I try a good idea. Just listen to it in the car. I really believe, and the bread was part of it, was that your subconscious is very is a hard worker. Your subconscious is going to work a lot when you're not even aware of it. So if you feed it, just by looking at your notes, just looking at a couple lines, listening to it on your way to the set, it is going to work and shows up on stage. I agree. And it really does. All of a sudden, you're like, oh, oh, oh it, it's doing the work. I don't have to sit alone at a desk to get the work done yeah. all the time. So, yeah, it's really in the rewriting when I start going into it. Yeah, I, I mean, that's, that's very, I mean, I, I also find like right now, the dread is like passing. I mm -hmm. shot it in November. Okay. And it becomes, it sort of becomes the most thrilling part. Yeah. Uh, which is like the creation of new things. Yeah. Because not too long from now, it'll be kind of like set. Mm -hmm. And then you're like performing that everywhere. Yeah. Which is fun. Yeah. But you're like the creation part is like the most exciting part. Don't you find when you get close to taping and like say for like the last three months of it, you're like really dialed in, tightening it up. Yeah. Getting it, getting it, getting it. And does this happen to you? Like when you get close, all of a sudden something new pops up that oh, makes yeah. the special. Yeah. Which is so weird because you're working so hard for a couple of years yeah. at this thing. And then all of a sudden something walks in it's, and makes the lineup. It does. In the last like I month. added I added two even lines to a, a joke that I was like, I, I didn't realize I was looking for these for like a year. Yeah. And the other one that I did was that the night after I taped, I did two shows. Yeah. And I added a line to a joke uh -huh. that made it kill. Yeah. And then when I watched it, I was like, you know what? I can actually everything. I can take this out of the special. Oh, so and, save it. And and yeah, and it's smart. Yeah, because I was like, it's so much better with the line. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you found some way to put the line in. <laughs> we shoot I'm to like, someone in the audience. I'm gonna do ADR, <laughs> and then he goes, and then just drop that in. No, I just I just realized I was like, oh, it's worth it. Smart. It's, it's worth cutting. That's really smart. That's that's good that you found it in that time though, because a lot of times you'll it'll be filmed. It'll be locked it'll air oh, and the then worst. you come up with a line that's like oh this is so much better you now. think so much clearly as soon as the cameras are done isn't it amazing yes it's really amazing it's like over and you're just free you're free oh and that next night especially if you do if you do shows the next night yeah you're just like this other person i was fighting a flu kind of thing when yeah. I, into the special so i was really hanging on to my voice and as 20 minutes after the second show was over it was gone it just all my adrenaline was hanging on to yeah, it yeah and it just split and i had to go to idaho falls the next morning for this theater show the next night no voice like really like pushing it it's our only instrument i got it's, it's i got like maybe 40 percent of it and but just knowing the special's over small voice going slow so they would hear me just so relaxed. Mm -hmm. I felt like it was the best show I had all year. Oh, for sure. It was just so great. Yeah, it's so great. Freeing. Yeah. Yeah. It's the best feeling, man. Yeah, it really is. But uh, there's nothing better like when you talk about the anxiety of like getting new stuff. When you get like one line that you know this is going to be like in the lineup. This is going to be a this is a great line. Mm -hmm. That's good. You are just sailing for oh, yeah. months. Yeah. It's months. Like you just feel so great. And it can change like the um it can change your whole set. Yeah. You know, like you could be like, uh, eh. you come up with that line and yeah. the next show you're just like, wait till I get to say this line. Yeah. It, just, it does make you feel like nothing else. I know. I was talking to Ali Wong about it the other night and she was it was smart, like the cause she's up against having to get some new stuff out and 
she said, I'm not coming to the club anymore with like a whole big thing that I, I want to try and memorize this whole thing. She goes, I'm going to do it one line at a time. Get that one line really set and add that that night and add that the next night. That's interesting. Isn't it? Yes. It's smart because it's accurate. You know, it's like a smart way to, rather than paraphrasing all of it, yeah. really get that one down. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. Really crazy. I didn't do it, but. Yeah. But you're like, <laughs> I'll remember you I'm said like, that. That's good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Different things work for different people. <laughs> um, are you uh, are you back on the road right now? Uh, yeah, just starting up. I just starting up. I uh, I go out and start touring now, and my second book comes out in May. What's your second book? It's called uh, "You're Doing Great and Other Reasons to Stay Alive." Oh, yeah, dude, we, it's pairing up with that title of the special. Yeah, somebody went to their marketing class, <laughs> which I wasn't really sure, like yeah, what was hurt great. or help. But now the special is doing well, so I think it'll help. That's gonna help. And it just takes it further. It takes everything further. It's it's there's very little of the act in the book. Uh-huh. Um, but the theme is the same. The theme the theme is still like positive. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I I let, take a look at the small things in life and realize that things are pretty great. Do you do that? Yeah. 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 Were you always like that? Um, yeah, different. Yeah. I have a sense of positivity for sure that mm-hmm. my grandparents, my grandmothers really instilled in all of us. Like yeah. it, it was taught. You were never one of those guys. You're like, that guy's a snarky fucking no cynical prick. No. no. And I wasn't, and I was always taught to be grateful. I was always taught that this every day is great is a blessing kind of a thing, mm-hmm. which sounds corny now that <laughs> Twitter has co-opted any kind of yeah sincerity about that. But I really was taught that. And, you know, I had people in my life and deaths in my life and hard things and my grandparents never let us uh wallow in it they were just like yeah that's what life is so now what are we going to do today right you know okay that really sucks yeah i get it and it's going to hurt for the rest of your life but what are we going to do with the rest of our life let's go yeah and i was really taught and i know there's also a part that's just genetically you you get lucky that sure. you don't have to battle with a lot of depression sure i'm i definitely won that lottery where yeah. I don't have heavy demons chemically working against me. But I do believe at every level you can kind of learn to at least just lift yourself up just a little bit more, just give yourself a little more perspective. Yeah. And at every level, at our worst. And I, so I just really, really, really carry that. And in the times that we're in where you feel like, even if you're doing well, I think social media and the, cable news and so much shit is against us this raging river that no other human brain has had to deal with this onslaught of negativity yeah it's hard to wait against that so i just kept thinking well let me just keep articulating at least what i see like i have a whole chapter just on coffee yeah <laughs> i have a whole chapter just on eating with your family like all that kind of stuff and mm-hmm. you know it's funny it's like you know it's subversive and it can it could lead to different other things it's not just this gleeful you yeah. know, thing you know there's darkness and whatever to it but it ultimately i love i don't like any art that doesn't give me hope at the end yeah yeah even when carlin like i loved george carlin so much yeah and, I, and there was a couple specials towards the end where he didn't let you off the hook he was like this sucks this sucks this sucks good night and i was like ah yeah i didn't like that i liked when he said this sucks this sucks but we can do it yeah but we'll be okay right you like but this is worth it yeah that is kind of where I live. Right. So that's where I, I wrote that. That is fascinating. Yeah. And I like that a lot too. Yeah. I like it. I I try to remind myself a lot to practice gratitude. Uh-huh. Because I feel better about everything when I take a moment to feel and yeah. express my own gratitude for everything. Yeah. Like for my life, for the Yeah. For career, for family. And I go like, you know, there's so much for me to, to be grateful for. Mm-hmm. I try to remind myself. To, to get into that practice. I think a key word that you said was uh, take a moment. Yeah. Because I think we, we start to think that you're just supposed to live like some Buddhist monk and just right. fly through and be grateful 24 hours a day. And, and if you're not, you're failing. No, no, no. We live in a big, hard-ass capitalist society. We got to work hard. We got to hustle. We got to do yeah. all this stuff. So you can't be this like blissful flower that's just, <laughs> or you're not going to make yeah. it. But a moment, like just a moment to sit back and say, all right, this is, I got to hang with my friend today. I get to see my kid 
fart in the kitchen. This yeah. was a this was a good day. Yeah. And then go back to the craziness. But a moment of it is good. Yeah. Um, look, you're you're always um one of my favorites to watch. Uh, I love watch. Like when you when you're in the room, I I make sure to watch because I feel like I actually get inspired by good stand up. Yeah. Like I realized that. I was also beating myself up, but not not just not having a hobby. But I was like, I'm not like I don't think I'm a fan of uh-huh. anything. And then I realized that I'm actually a super fan of stand up. Yeah, like that's why I got into it. Yeah, me I too. love it so much. Yeah, and you're one of the great comics to watch. Oh, thanks. You know, so I just I, I I feel like uh, I get charged up when I watch really good stand up. What's cool too is like and the reason I like watching you is that you have a, just a different pacing yeah. that I really admire. And it's like, it's like a, a, someone who punches just as hard, but looks effortless in a different way. Yeah. That right. I mean, that's what's yeah. so great about all our friends. Sure. It's like you watch Rogan do his thing. It's his and own you watch, way. Yeah. Yep. You watch Allie do her thing. Watch Maria Bamford do her thing. Yeah. All so different. All so great. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I, the fan part is like you, you, I forget about it too. Yeah, you forget. And it's like, but wait, look, all these people are coming to these shows because it is the most fun thing to watch. It's the most fun. It is. It's, it is. To let yourself like enjoy it and have fun with it is uh, is pretty smart. When you see like a really fun set, like, yeah. Even as a you watch somebody up there, yeah, and they're just in a zone, yeah. And it, it's it's the most fun thing to watch. <laughs> it really, is. and it makes you just be like, I want to do better stand up. Yeah, I know. You know? It inspire. Yeah, it should yeah. make you a little mad at the end. A little bit. You're like, fuck that guy. <laughs> Jeez, Tom's got a new hour in two months. Fucking Screw asshole. him. <laughs> um, see Tom on the road. Most importantly right now, check out the special. Uh, you're doing great on Netflix. In May, the book, You're Doing Great. And, and uh, I'm what's running around on tour. No, what's oh, the uh, title? Oh, oh, you're doing great and other reasons to stay alive. And other reasons. Yeah. I thought you were like, what else you got going no, no, on? No, no, no. I just forgot like, the rest of the time. I was like, how much more do I have to do? I mean, <laughs> do you not want to work? So, <laughs> uh, no, but thanks for coming by today, man. Oh, thanks I for giving so, me the chance to spread the word. Of course. And I'm so glad Christina wasn't here so we could actually Whew. talk. Yeah. Thank you yeah, for that. Man, I always like to leave the audience when Christina isn't here with a little clip of hers. <laughs> good point (laughs) all right that's the best yeah this episode of your mom's house is also brought to you by brooke linen you spend a third of your life in your sheets (laughs) maybe more don't want them to be insanely uncomfortable what's wrong with you you have to you want it to be a place that you just live so what are you going to do you're going to go to Brooklinen and get the home of the internet's favorite sheets. Brooklinen got over 50,000 five-star reviews. That is insane. Founded in early 2014 by husband and wife Vicky and Rich Fulop, who wanted to make to find beautiful home essentials that didn't cost an arm and a leg, the mission to make you comfortable. Brooklinen was the first, the first DTC bedding company, meaning they worked directly with manufacturers and directly with customers. No middlemen, just a great product and great service and great savings that are passed on to you. They've moved beyond the bedroom to offer essentials for your bathroom like towels, shower curtains, bath mats, even launched ultra soft loungewear that makes you feel like you never left the bed. This is all luxury par- products without luxury markup. Like softness, comfort, essentials to help you relax, Brooklinen has it all. Brooklinen.com is the perfect place to hit the refresh button in the new year. Go on and make yourself comfortable. Brooklinen is so confident in their product that all their sheets, comforters, loungewear, and towels come with a lifetime warranty. Get 10% off your first order and free shipping on an all-new sheet when you use our promo code MOM at brooklinen.com. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Uh, and hey, New Yorkers, if you're listening, you can get the internet's favorite sheets and more in real life. Visit Brooklinen's first store in Brooklyn at 127 Kent Avenue in Williamsburg. Brooklinen, everything you need to live your most comfortable life. All right, this is it. This is my day. I'm so excited at your mom's house. I normally don't give a fuck about any of our guests. I wake up and I'm like, who's coming in? Don't care. But this guest we have today 
I have loved for a decade. Tom and I have discussed her on the show uh, how many years ago. I know. She and I have so much in common. We're both mothers, creative people, and excellent rappers. Please welcome Krayshawn. Thank you hey. for being here. Thank you guys for having me. It's uh, very exciting. It's very exciting. And, and she is not exaggerating. She has been <laughs> talking about uh, you coming on from... Mm -hmm from whenever the video that was sent to you I was came so out. excited when you reached out. Yeah. Because I put out my own out, jam. I thought, I mean, I thought you were going to tell me you were pregnant again. You're like, oh my God. And I was like, what? And you're like, Krayshaw messaged me. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. You're so excited. I was like, sup. Sup, <laughs> sup, girl. Yeah, you were so cool. And and <laughs> and really, that's, that's the thing is that you are so cool. And I was inspired to recreate your big hit Gucci Gucci uh -huh. on my Instagram. Yeah. On the grum, and then you saw how good my my rhymes were. Yeah, that's why I was like, "What's up?" Yeah, you're like, "What's up?" Can we collaborate yeah. on some shit? Want to yeah. feature on this next track? <laughs> yeah, I could feel it. Yeah, on a scale of one to ten, ten being the best rap you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. uh, what was my rapping like? Be honest. I'd give it a seven and <gasps> a half. Whoa! Wow, yeah. and a half. Yeah. Go, tell me three fourths actually. <laughs> now that Damn. I think about Damn. it. Damn. Seriously. <laughs> <Just saying. laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm just oh stop it Nadav what he's typing I give me a taste no yeah. I can't do it in front of the artist in front of a sure you can I, I do it we got her here yeah but I'm so she, embarrassed she wants that seven and three quarters give it to I, her you don't like Gucci she's got the lyrics written down right there <laughs> can, I, can I tell you my favorite lines <laughs> okay. of yours yeah <laughs> I just I'm serious okay, I'm being so sincere first of all let me preface this by saying I fell in love with you because it was like I'd never seen a girl so young who was such a, you're so self-motivated. I think is what I love about you is you're like, fuck it, I just got this computer. I'm gonna make some crazy computer art. Yeah. I'm gonna make my own shit. I'm the editor, director, and my own boss. The videos definitely elevate everything, you know? Nails fierce with the gold gloss, yeah. which means ain't nobody getting over me. I got the swag and it's pumping out my ovaries. <laughs> is there any line ah, I'm melting <laughs> <laughs> which, which obviously when it's your hit so you don't yeah. everyone hates I'm sure whoever oh sings God, Margaritaville wants to yeah uh, I don't think he minds for yeah. some reason yeah, that song when it comes Margarita on it's like it's like <laughs> it's really tonight. loud like yeah. it's I always ask I'm like is this sound loud to you and they're like no and I'm like it sounds like like static like really yeah you know like those memes where like the bass is all turned up like and it's like they call it ear rape. Yeah. Oh, you feel like that's all. Yeah, that's what like I that. feel like. It's the ear rape. You hate it so much. And is it? <laughs> is it because I hate it, it so much? Is it because it was such a it was such a monster? I don't know. Hit and it's you know. It's like traumatic. You know, like this is a we talk about it in therapy. You know, yeah. Like it's just like trauma. You do you really talk about it in therapy? Yeah. Really. <laughs> That song? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you talk about? What do you say? Uh, but isn't like the like the message of that song is is pretty know. cool. You don't care? I mean, yeah, no. It I is mean, pretty cool. cool. Yeah. You know what show? I don't know if you've ever seen this. I went on The Doctors. Did yeah. you ever did? see this? Did uh, you see this? I, I didn't see your- Is that what I the cash- Oh my God, it was so funny. What did you do on I the went on The Doctors and it was like a segment called, Are You a Basic Bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I was just cracking up because I'm like, this is like a doctor show. It's like yeah. medical information. And then they're like, we have Cray Sean, like, <laughs> like Dr. Cray Sean. And I'm like, well, you know, it's just about consumerism. And like, yeah. I'm trying to be all like, hmm. <laughs> but it kind of, it, and that's why you're so brilliant, I think, is because it was not, it, it was not simple. That's the wrong word. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? It wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't convoluted. It was so direct. And you could tell it was like, here's this young girl in Oakland and her friends. And she's making these videos and bumping, bumping. Bumpin', we love bumping, bumping. Bumpin'. We do. We love. We stand bumping. Bumpin'. You, you like bumping, bumpin'? Bumpin'? Bumpin'. Yeah. yeah. What's with riding on elephants? Um, I don't know. What What did I say? This young one? Sean, uh, riding on an elephant. Oh, elegant elephant. Elegant. elegant. I had elephant. to put it. <laughs> I love it. I don't know. Doesn't that start with cuss <laughs> at your house, bitch? Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, that. That's a real phone call. That's a real phone call? Yeah, that is a It was being call. recorded? Yeah. No shit. Yeah. Did 
did you know you were gonna use it? Like, are you, are you wait? Um, no. Well, first? when I was making, can that I stay s- at your house? Yeah, uh, I said, can I what? stay at your house? Bitch? I was uh, recording with the guy who produced it, and uh. he kind of was, would do this thing where he'd be like, just do everything over and over, over and over for like thirty minutes. He like leave the room, so I was just like, he kind of just used vocal samples, so it wasn't really like necessarily over that beat. Mm-hmm. So I was just like saying everything over and over. Oh. I answered the phone like in the middle of the song and like he uh, put it in there. Oh. oh. Can you hear me, bitch? Because yeah. it's so real. It does. And yeah. that's why I love it so much. Yeah. It's always been real. Well, I think that one of the reasons that song popped so hard is like, yeah, it slaps, but it's also that you come across as like super authentic as yes. this. Yes. You know what I mean? When she says you're cool, it's like because you're. You're watching that video, you hear that song, and it sounds like it's an authentic person, you know, doing it. So I didn't sound like a lesbian. You did, I mean, you, you did, did, and I thought you were a lesbian. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were a lesbian. Yeah. yeah. Wait, were you? I have to know. I have so many important <laughs> questions for you, Krayshawn. Over the, I mean, that and I that's say, on here. Is she a lesbian? But I got to <laughs> say, it's. I, I enjoyed it because I was like, oh, my God, a cute lesbian. So I was yeah. Excited, we know? were so excited. Yeah, like most articles would that, come out and they'd be like lesbian rapper. And yeah. I'd be like, wait. Uh, huh? Okay. Most of, you, you picture <laughs> yeah. a lesbian rapper, you picture like Nadav. You know, yeah. and I, you don't picture it like I see you and I'm like, wow, she's uh, gorgeous. One big room full of bad me, bitches. Yeah. So I thought it was about you liking girls. So yeah. it, it wasn't. Uh, Like back then. I mean, I. Okay, long story short, like I, I use I liked girls like gotcha. physically and then I had sex with a girl and I was like, whoa, I don't, I'm not digging this, you it's know, not yeah. into the thing. Um, it's more of like for me, it was like a pimp, mm-hmm. like pimp perspective, you know, like oh. like you got bitches. Yeah, I'm a pimp. You're a pimp. Yeah, I like, like that. being around pretty girls like made me feel good. Right. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah. See, you're interesting. <laughs> I really like this. So let's start from so the beginning. So lesbian pimp. You're a lesbian <laughs> pimp, and I love this. I have so many That's questions for you. That's a great album title, too. <laughs> okay. Birth name is not Crayshawn. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is your given, your Christian name? Go ahead. Natasha. Natasha. And you're my Jewish name. Your Jewish name. Natasha Zolot. Zolot is Hungarian, no? Zolot? Russian. Russian. For, it means gold. Oh, you like that? That's good. <laughs> I'm just saying. Sounds okay. fierce. You could be a double agent. I buy it. Yeah, Natasha. Yeah. Zola. Natasha. Totally. Okay. And then you're born in. Were you born in Oakland? San Francisco. San Francisco. Yeah. So what happened? How did how did a young Natasha get to Oakland? Um, I lived in San Francisco for ten years, and then like the 2000 tech boom happened yes i remember that yeah that was the first layer of san francisco gentrification yes i lived there at that time i was in college and i had to rent out a tiny little room for like a thousand dollars a month and i I lived under the stairs like harry potter Mm -hmm. with like four other girls on fulton street yeah uh anyway so your mom was a musician yeah was she in a punk band right yeah and so what's the deal didn't she get pregnant with you when she was super young yeah, she had me when she was seventeen. Oh my and god! And then um, she made like she kept making music. She kept doing her thing and wow. touring and all that while I was a kid. Um, well, yeah, she was so young. She too. was touring. Yeah. So who who raised you? Who stuck around? Um, it was a co- a community thing, you know, yeah. like who's the community? Friends friends <laughs> friends and friends friends uh, you know friends of friends it's like i saw this meme and it was like this guy's telling me his uncle but he's just like my mom's friend that <laughs> changed my diaper a couple times you know but that's but, like how i am like all these like people i'm not related to are like my aunts and uncles and like i love them and that's so cool but your mom was essentially a teenager when she had you yeah, and like weird. this gnarly like punk rock singer yeah I was just looking, I was just thinking on the way here, I was like, I'm 30 now. And when my mom was 30, I was 13. Whoa. So Whoa. I was like, geez, imagine dealing with a 13 year old right now. I'd fucking right now, yeah. I'd <laughs> kick her ass. I know, right? Yeah. Were you a punk ass little 13 I was year old? Fucking horrible. Yeah. Yeah. I was terrible. And were you Why? guys at that time, you were uh, thir- you're already in Oakland, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
So you moved to Oakland because it's he- hella, hella, to yeah. use San Francisco expression, expensive. Hella, it got hella expensive. It got hella expensive, yeah. bro. And Oakland back then was really dicey. Yeah. Because I know I think it's different now, but. No, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, it was it's, dicey it's become as fuck. Like, I know, I remember, I mean, Oak, you live there, but I'm saying the reputation has even changed too. Yeah. Like everybody talks about, they're like, oh, everyone moves to Oakland because San Francisco has become so crazy expensive yeah. the whole area well, now oakland's just like, yeah, like just when i go up there i feel very uncomfortable in oakland really yeah why is that because it's just like i see things happening that like like streets with like vegan bakeries i like i remember mm. that street like you couldn't walk down that street like and now all these people are like pushing their baby carriages and having gluten-free yeah whatever's and i'm just like this is makes me uncomfortable yeah i don't know (laughs) what you know is changing like what you grew up with yeah so you're 10 years old you're in oakland Mm -hmm. what are you doing how do you become i mean you were fucking by the time you get a record deal off of uh, was it gucci gucci yeah i mean you're what 22 21 20 (laughs) okay so what happens (laughs) from like isn't that bananas of course it's it's such a it's a crazy story so how do you get to how do you get started in music you want to do like 10 years Ten year yeah. breakdown. <laughs> yeah. Um, so when we moved to Oakland, we moved in this place with my mom's boyfriend at the time. And he was really cool. I loved him. And he um was really into music. He had turntables, he had music production equipment, he had trombones, guitars. He was like really brought out my mom because my mom quit doing music mm. at one point. She just stopped when I was like I don't know, maybe eight or something. She just turned it off. Didn't Why? pick anything up. Why? What, what happened? I think she had like a traumatic experience with touring and stuff. And she kind of just cut just it done. off. Yeah. And thought that like that would help. I don't know. But she met him and she was like all fun again, having fun, making music. And um, he would let me make beats like on his thing. There's a program called Acid. That's really old. I think people still use it, but... I would make beats and me and my friend, we would make like mixtapes and like hand them out. We like get on the mic and make little raps. And um, I think that, that, I mean, that's where it started. Like making music on a computer was like, oh. So do you have any, do I always wonder when like, when, you, uh, when you're young and you're doing things like that, you know, like I remember like the music kids, it's, it kind of feels like most people have like a dream about it going somewhere, mm-hmm. but that, essentially most people are like well you know i mean like i'm in school like this is something i do for fun like do yeah. you think it's for fun or do you really like are you already like thinking this could be career stuff you know what i mean at 10 well i mean when uh, as well it's, when you're know. a teenager like when you're like a teenager you're, you're doing it you know what um I, mean? I did it mostly for fun for fun you yeah. know like goofing off because like i could do it but then like i was reading some of my old tweets like back in the day like when i was 18 and 19 and i'd be like watch i'm gonna be famous and i'm like why did i write that i never felt like i thought like that but i do remember like trying to get soldier boy's attention like all the time and like waka flocka's <laughs> attention and I'm like, waka flocka please pay attention to me i love you soldier boy <laughs> And did they write like back? sending him my video links just like spamming them yeah, did they ever see it or um that? yeah 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 soldier boy did and waka flocka give you props or no yeah yeah that's cool it's amazing so you're (laughs) a teeny i mean i'm just i look the fact that you even figured this shit out so young is what is alarming so you're 18 years old let's say what are you doing are you in high school are you thinking about college Um, because there was were you an art student there was an someone was like this girl's an art student that's why she can do all these cool graphics and yeah um i dropped out of high school sophomore year and then uh, i went to job corps do you guys know what job no. Corps is? it's like a s- government run program where you live there and you get you um, live there yeah it's it's probably At like 15 it's the worst yeah i was 16 i think i was 16 or 17 when i went it's mm-hmm. just terrible hmm. It's terrible is it like place. like bunks? Like is it a, yeah? Like, four like a, people in a in a room and eight people share a bathroom. What? Oh my god! How like, old are the other people? From, I think maybe fifteen to twenty six, 
It's really, it's like, it doesn't it's, sound safe. And it's co-ed? No, it's, it's, the dorms aren't co- co-ed, but the program is. Okay. Um, and what did you learn? A lot of people get like sent there for court or you go, I went cause like I didn't have anywhere to live anymore and I was like staying with friends all the time and I just kind of got burnt out on it. I was like, I need to go to job core, mm-hmm. um, which was really a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it sucked and that place is like so ghetto, it's like insane. And what um, did you learn there? I did facility maintenance. <laughs> Which is? <laughs> it's like uh, power washing cement, fixing windows. Oh, because, that sounds fun Okay, though, so actually. when you go there, you every trade is like a gang. So like the two biggest trades are facility maintenance and cement macing, and they like beef with each other. <laughs> they'll have like full on like jail rumbles. Like, what? Yeah. What? Like, they'll like meet up and they'll like <laughs> and they'll like bang on each other. They'll be like CM boys, cement mason boys. It's, <laughs> it's real. It's like it's a jail mentality. And then like you're like facility for like yeah. Doing, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and you were a team like facility. Yeah, because I had a friend. And <laughs> did you throw down? You put on for your for your team? Well, I, I did it for protection. <laughs> oh, right. Literally, because no, my, my friend's boyfriend was one of the only people who sold weed on the island because it's on Treasure Island. Oh, God. Yeah. I was wondering what was on Treasure yeah. Island. Treasure Island is like Job Corps, and then there's like a re, some real How programs. Dude, it is like Alcatraz. That yeah, it sounds like. How long Alcatraz. were you in Job Corps? How long did you um, stay there? Um, I think I was there for like six or seven months. Oh my god! And this is like uh, the training <laughs> to do yeah. this. And then do you? You get your GED. Okay. So I got my GED. Oh, good for and you. Then good. When you leave there, though, or did you go immediately into a job like in um, that field? Well, I didn't finish my job training, but they give you like. I think it was eight hundred or a thousand dollars if you complete your GED. So I got that money and I got my first apartment. Good wow. for you. I was only seventeen when I got my first apartment. I had to have like my grandma come and like. Do you ever think off. about Jesus going back to cement wash power washing? <laughs> I've seen I've seen some power washing videos. Yeah. You know, yeah. like it was like so satisfying. Yeah. Like, <laughs> What if you so satisfying? What if you just you just open? Oh my god, it should stay. Just open a side hustle power washing business. That'd be yeah. pretty. Throw dope. your face on the banner. Oh, like set dude. up a website for it, and then just have somebody run it and be like fully educated. Yeah, you know? <laughs> and that could be just some mailbox money. for I would have, you know, yeah, like Krayshawn's power washing business. Yes, I would take it in a second. You don't I have would to call. do it. You could just have employees. Yeah, yeah true. And dude, then they play the song this. that you hate the most. It shows up. The van yeah. shows up. One big room. It's just like on two big, like <laughs> the speakers, like ice dude. cream truck song. And you're like, what's up with all these checks people keep handing me? Oh, it's your power washing business. That's it off. right. Yeah. True. So what happened that you had to leave home so early? Was your stepdad a creep? Was he a douchebag? Um. So yeah, my mom broke up with the the guy. The, the you cool like. guy. Sorry. The cool guy. <laughs> my yeah. kid's doctor. Yes. I have oh, to get oh my kid. <laughs> okay. Sick. All right. Hold mom on. life. Mom life. She's going to okay, walk by you. My baby's sick, y'all. Okay. What's wrong with y'all, baby? Uh, he had like um a virus. Um, so he had a no, oh, he had like a like a, a cold virus, you know. So how had, old is he? He's eighteen months. Oh. He's okay. I mean, he, he had, had croup cough. He's had croup cough before. This yeah. is like it's like every week he's like he's fine, and then like on Friday you're like, are you? And then you oh he's sick again, and then you yeah. it's over it, and then he's sick. But like our our oldest was the same way. Yeah. Like you just feel like, are you ever not sick? Yeah. So it's My just son's kinda... finally getting o- over that. I haven't seen him that sick in a while. Even though he did get the stomach flu. Yeah. Like a month ago. That's brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Was it uh, up, down, or both? Both. Yeah. Same time. Same time. In the pants. Nice. Like, but my mom was watching him at the time. So, so that's kind of her problem. Dodged a bullet yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, our, our guy's done a lot of... I feel like our oldest is four and he does, he's kind of in that too, where he, um, it feels like you're like, oh, Art, you're going stretches without being sick now. So yeah. He's got to get this other guy there. Got to get but, that immunity up. Yeah. They're just new Do you guys get organisms. sick when they get sick? Uh, sometimes, yes. M- I'm more surprised. I get sick, you know, doing the road a lot, traveling uh-huh. all the time, and I'll get uh, colds and sinus infections a few times gross. a year. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's pretty gross and it feels horrible and I want to die when it happens. Mm-hmm. But- I'm always amazed how, well, I guess because our immune systems are more developed, how these guys will come home sometimes and they'll, they'll both be sick, the little guys, mm-hmm. and we yeah, just I'm fight just it up. Chilling. Yeah, yeah, but you know, it's hit or miss, man. It's rolling the fucking dice. Yeah, damn kids. There's these damn kids, man. 
Um, so I want to go. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna jump ahead. So because I don't want to. I know she's she's walking. Can I hit my jewel in here. Uh yeah sure sure yeah <laughs> definitely. He look, okay. well, I looked at him because he he you know he He's runs like this. the joint. Arr, arr, yeah he he would tell no. us. Hit no, it hard. you're good to go. Good to go. I'm not co-signing at all. No, of course not. Man, I'm trying to get her to get some like tattoos. Her? Yeah, yeah. Tell her to get your name on her ass for Valentine's Day. On her asshole or just a, a cheek? <laughs> okay. I was saying cheek, but oh. you could get creative with it. Yeah, because I've seen she like... You got to stretch it out. Yeah, see I've it. seen the ones like where... Like a slinky. Where um, <laughs> like it's a mouth around it. Uh-huh. So like it kind of, it fits perfectly. Like they could do my beard and, and you know, mm. and all that's on the the cheeks. Oh my God, that's terrible. And you see the mouth. Like it's kind of it's kind of cool. Get some teeth in there. Yeah, yeah. I've seen asshole tattoos, and they just ah, oh, they make you kind of. You love it? No, oh, I, just, I can tell. If you're oh no, like, I meant. Ooh, yeah. No, I'm like, turned on. Troll. No, no, I meant. I go like, oh man, how do you do it? Like just the needle on the seems tender. Yeah, mine's hurt. How many? Do you, wait, you I have was your, just joking. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's the most painful one? Um, if you had to break it down by pain. oh shit, uh, I got my ribs done. That ribs. was the I've last heard that one before. I got, and it's like this big, and it was like a fucking six, seven hours. I was, I was, yeah, hitting. What new. hurts more on the bone, like the rib the itself? The bones hurt. The bones hurt. Yeah, the bones. Anything I've, bony hurts. I've heard that for like ankles before. You know that that would hurt. The rule to me is like if you pinch it and mm. it hurts, like then it hurts. Yeah. I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Yeah. I got offered uh, I've, I've never had a tattoo. I got offered one. <sighs> this lady right here, if you look to your left, she's getting her asshole tattooed. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I need a better view. There's a, that's How do I know she's getting her asshole tattooed? Ah, uh, I don't know. Oh, this dog's breath stinky. Oh, yeah, that's smells like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Bits. Come here. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, Watch sorry. Your mouth. Oh, oh, yeah. Fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah. Was well, that the right clip? <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that the only clip you can find, man? That's it. That's all we've got. Of butthole tattoos, yeah. Of butthole <laughs> tattoos. Okay. Did you know she was gonna say that? I think he did. <laughs> I did, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what uh, I've been doing? Uh, um, hey. It's like totally off topic, but yeah. That word just reminded me of it. I've sure. been doing, um, you know, the Oculus Quest. Yeah. You, do you ever? You, you, you uh, I, I know what it, what it I is. I just got one, and there's this thing called VR Chat. Yeah. And you like go in, and you're like a virtual like avatar, and you like talk to other real people. Uh huh. It's weird. And does why does that well, word remind you? Because people are saying it. There's a lot? All, no. There's only it, it's always just like one person. Uh-huh. So it'll be like a group of like twelve of us. We're all like having having fun, you know, yeah. singing karaoke or something. And uh-huh. then the, some guy says it. He'll be like over there. You just hear him. Uh-huh. And I walk over there. I'm like, what? Why'd you say that? Like, yeah. why'd you say that? And he's like, I could just say whatever I want. And I'll just lie and be like, I'm streaming this online. Everyone could see your username, and they're all gonna know like you're a piece of shit. And they get all like scared and like log off. And then they're like, oh, because you can't actually see. Who in, they are. No. And no. so does no one actually knows they're, they're hanging out with you on there? No. No. That's kind of fun. Like you're anonymous while you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, 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 it's a really weird world to be in VR. Yeah. Um, and I imagine that like it, it, for people, it's a thrill to, to be, I don't know, try to be provocative and say something like it's almost like trolling leaving a comment right oh yeah but like yeah. most of the people on there like no shade are like losers mm-hmm. <laughs> like the other day <laughs> it was like it was like five guys and one of the guys is like well i wish a gill would talk to me like oh, i have no gill friends i just want to talk to a gill and like one of the guys is like oh man like i had i had a girlfriend you know and then the other guy's like i had two girlfriends and everyone's like whoa, whoa. how'd you do that what How'd you get two girlfriends? Sorry, what did I miss? Well, you missed a lot, but can you give us an update on our son first? So I'm convinced that our son has meningitis because he has oh, no. rash on his face and on and? his palms. Well, I don't know. She's talking to 
Claudia because okay. Claudia's with him right now. But she says it's definitely not meningitis because I've already Googled. I'm already down the rabbit hole. Do you like how I'm she starts with just, I'm convinced it's meningitis. Yeah, I'm and a, then a fucking mom. Did get the meningitis vaccine? Huh? Doesn't Course. matter. Bacterial is still. Wait, but still, what did she Sarah say? Sarah Tiana got fucking, she's calling Claudia now. Okay. And she said it's not meningitis. She needs to talk to the, her first and then she'll give did me. Did you give him Benadryl? No, it's not. It's not. But I'm just glad she. But next on. time, lead with the doctor says it's not what the I think it is. The doctor says it's not what I think it is. Okay. It's not. We're not going to the hospital right now. There you go. Yeah. Um, do you get worst case scenario when your son is sick? Um, no, I'm like almost the opposite. Wow. My mom is a hypochondriac. So, so that's why you're over it. Yeah. Okay. What did I miss? Go ahead. Uh, we were talking about cool guys and. Um, we were talking about she does a uh, VR VR chat. VR I really chat. get the Oculus. I've seen you do that online. Yes, <laughs> I've some seen guys you do uh, that. some guys drop big words on there, and then what she calls yeah. them out. Big <laughs> words are what we call uh, N word. We call it the game gamer word. A gamer word. Yeah, because like people always say it on like Call of Duty and stuff. This <laughs> dude's talking shit. This is this is not exactly the same thing, but this is like a, a video of a dude talking shit, and he got oh, beat in Madden. No. no, 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 it's fine. This guy got beat in Madden uh -huh. and then sent this video to who beat him. How do you do that? I don't know. Listen, you old bitch ass nigga cuz. Listen, when I come to New York, I'm gonna fuck you up, nigga. See, bitch ass niggas like you do all that pillow talking over the phone, nigga. And when I pull up on your ass, nigga, what you gonna do? Call the police, bitch ass nigga. Are you in I love? got a nigga in New York right now. Yeah, but see, the nigga I am nowadays, <laughs> I don't see my niggas on crash courses. I'm going to pull up on your bitch ass nigga on my kids, nigga. Wait, what were they playing? Madden. Okay, Madden. Yeah. Do you get when that heated? I come to New York and I'm oh, going to fuck no. you up, no, 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 Watch, no. nigga. Don't say nothing else to me, nigga. Just keep that same energy oh when God. I bring my ass He's... to New York, nigga. Oh my mom! He cause. won or he he lost? Uh, he lost. Okay, that's why he's <laughs> yeah. pretty mad. Yeah, that's definitely the losing guy's video. He's slobbering. He's so he's very upset. upset. He's very upset. I mean, okay. Yeah, I'm just may saying when he comes to New York, it's going to be something. Yeah. Yeah. May I continue my interview with Christian? I'm sorry. I have so many yeah. questions for you. <laughs> Thought we so were having a good time without you, but go ahead. You leave. You leave it as a teenager. Why do you leave? <laughs> we're going back to yeah. the the timeline here. Um. Your stepdad's. <laughs> we were really having a good thing going. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, no. Um, what what happened? Go ahead. <laughs> I just have limited time with her, and I have so many questions. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, your stepdad. They broke up. Yeah, they broke up, and I <laughs> started like drinking and doing drugs. You know, to what kind of drugs did you stuff. do? Yeah. Um, smoking pot, mm -hmm. popping ecstasy, like nice. every day. Every day. Every day. Dude. Jeez. Yeah. So you were really you were really was, down in the dumps. Uh, yeah, I was doing great. Yeah. Um <laughs> And is that when you started making your your most amazing music? No. When you were fucked up like that? No. Um at 15 I, I think I was just skate like skating and like being a little shithead. I don't even think like Where were you where were you staying? Like you music. you had a pl uh, me and my mom and my grandpa all lived together in the house that we moved to okay. uh, Oakland in. Okay. And, is um, this is after Job Corps? No, this is before. This before. is before she goes okay. to Job yeah. Corps. Okay, okay. Um, so like I wasn't going to school, so I got kicked out for being truant, uh, and then I got into a new school and I got kicked out for like threatening some girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but I would just never go to class. Like, yeah, ever. I didn't like high school very but much. But I would either. go to school. I just would oh. go into the class. <laughs> you just want to socialize. I, yeah, I was just like running around, like, you know, up? goofing off. Um, everyone thought I was like a crackhead, though. Like nobody thought I was cool. <laughs> Got you. So you were just, you're fucking off. And then yeah. so Job Corps was this actually pretty good solution for you. You learned how to power wash. Is this where you meet V Nasty? Now, I've oh, heard a yeah. rumor that she was your stepsister or you referred to her as your stepsister. <laughs> no, we're not related. See, or, I, I heard or, that. I, I, well, I called all, everyone my sister. Oh, but yeah, I had read I'm somewhere online that that was your stepsister, and no. you were saying, free v nasty. Yeah. Did she get put in jail at the she time? She was in jail, yeah. What did she... Well, I met her a little bit before Job Corps. Um, and, yeah, she went to jail. What did she do? For, like, six, seven months. Oh, it's a nice little stint. Yeah. DUI? Um, no, she robbed someone and beat him up. Damn. That's tight. Yeah. I think she did that twice. Wow. And is that why you guys don't talk anymore? 
No, we still talk. Oh, I thought you guys I'm broke like, you're up. You're a bad person. You <laughs> robbed somebody. No way. I was like, that's cool. <laughs> that is cool. That's very cool. <laughs> but I, I okay. Wish, I wish my friends would do that. Yeah. Sorry, I was under the impression that you and V Nasty were had parted ways, but you you guys no. still chill. You're cool. Yeah. White girl mob. Sure. Now, who else was in the white girl mob? It was <laughs> me, V Nasty, and Little Debbie. And Little Debbie. Yeah. What's up with Little Debbie? Um, she's still, she's still making music. I mean, she's put out like an album every year or more than a year. Yes. I lost interest then, in little uh, Debbie. I followed oh her God. in the beginning <laughs> and then I was like, mm, I'm team crush on all the way. <laughs> well, we were like, we're like, uh, you know, like we all had different, like, I think like person, like everyone was different, you yeah. know? Yes. So like some, some people identify with her and not me or some people identify with me nasty and you know, whatever. No, I'm well, team, make no team mistake Krayshaw. about it. Who we identify <laughs> yeah, with uh, here? V Nasty was not my lane. Okay, <laughs> I, was on my grade. I, I was like the biggest V Nasty fan. That's that's you know how really? it all like culminated was like me recording V Nasty's like mixtape, and I'd she like come over and I'd be like yeah, to get in the closet and rap, you know, like and I'd force her to make music, and I started filming her, and then like wow. one of her videos of her freestyling like got on World Star Hip Hop which was like the number one website at the yeah. time and she was in jail and like I was wrote her in jail like you won't believe it like <laughs> it's just so cool it's the beginning of the end you know um, but that's cool yeah so you're inspired to you make your music bump and bump in all this stuff and mm -hmm. you just put it up is that what it, this is like you're mm -hmm. making shit and you're like I don't care I'm just gonna put it up yeah and you get this crazy level of success right like yeah. i heard in two weeks just millions and millions of people are sharing yeah. your music True. but how does it go from uh so this song obviously pops off people are flipping out D is that that's prior to getting a deal like so you put it out and then you sign a sony deal or i'm just trying to get the the timeline oh i put it out and then yeah i think like all the labels are like oh my god oh my god and then you sign a deal right away i i, I like met with a whole bunch of like different labels and then we just picked one. And then did you sign a terrible deal? I I think so. Yeah. I'm not sure. How does it, how does it like, <laughs> no, because like the Such music business is one of those things where people who aren't in music, all you ever hear are stories yeah. about like how predatory and awful and just. Well, I mean, before, when I came out, Sp Spotify didn't exist yet. Right. So like streams and like plays weren't like a thing. So like now you have artists, they're like, so-and-so got streamed two billion times mm -hmm. Woo, they're platinum you know but like when i got signed that wasn't a thing you right. wouldn't get any credit for your youtube plays or any of that soundcloud streams but now that's what counts is your streams count towards your billboard or uh -huh. record platinums colors you that's know? how they actually measure it yeah but yeah. but when i came out it was still like physical the records, albums yeah. you know mm. or like if you buy it on itunes right and itunes is like has become in the just in the last few years so insignificant that they're yeah. they're ending itunes yeah yeah so what? it's just it's just like i Crazy. came yeah. i came out during this like transitional period between sure. like there was this time where everyone's like oh let's like make this work but they just like didn't know how because like streaming wasn't like how you made money you know yeah, yeah. so i was like an experiment mm -hmm. um once they realized that they were like oh we what the fuck you know they were like oh like uh wear high heels like record this pop <laughs> song about my cookie and like you know like <laughs> and i was just like no like i don't want to do it and they're like fine we're only gonna put your album in hot topic that's how it got yeah because yeah, i remember reading that that <laughs> would they that really was, direct you like that like do this yeah I mean, literally like we need a song like a, you know, no i know but, but like this like, is what you yeah. should be doing and this is like an executive wow. telling that like this is a suit being well, like it would be know. like yeah somebody who i thought was in they're like we, we booked you some dance classes <laughs> i'd be like <laughs> ah. i'm good yeah yeah because your whole appeal was that you were so like Rough you and, and raw and yeah. yeah like you were this girl who just that you were doing your thing yeah and that's terrible well, you see you see like go hard was kind of like yeah i that. like that song actually 
You my don't son like it? loves that song. I like well, it too, and I like the video. It looks like you guys are having fun. Was that like a record company song? Um, it was me trying to like please. Yeah, trying to do it. Yeah, trying to squeeze it out. Don't yeah. let them break you down, man. You're so yeah. talented. God, I have motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> let me um just real quick just go to this. Uh, thing I wanted to show you. Um, it's going to be on this screen right here in front of you. Okay. Um, just a potential suitor. You know, okay. you're you're a beautiful woman. You have a lot of <laughs> options out there. Okay. Just want to get like your response to like a potential mm -hmm. maybe Sorry, guy guys. you go out with. Okay. Okay. Women. Let's cut to the chase here. Hi. Women should clean up. Not only should women clean up. Women should clean up unprompted. And I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> you in? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Sorry. I just wanted to maybe, uh, okay. Just maybe let him explain for a second. Okay. It's very, very simple. We live in a world where things simple. need to be fair. 50-50. Mm -hmm. Gender equality. Blah, blah. Equality. I pay for things unprompted. You don't have to ask me to pay for shit. If we go for dinner, I'll get my wallet out, pay at the end. Don't even check the price of the bill. My card always works. Okay. Yeah. So right. he's rich. I think. He's kind of a dick, though. A little bit. <laughs> really? He's a little bit. Um, do you feel like he has a chance? Can he ask you out? No. He's no. got small dick energy for sure. Small <laughs> dick energy. Mm -hmm. Wow. All we ever hear about is BDE. BDE. And now there's SDE. Yeah. It hasn't even been covered yet. Would yeah. you ever uh, um, engage in polyamory? Um, I have a lot of friends that do. Really? Yeah, and it sounds so complicated. It it's does. it's like more. Yeah. There's more rules to polyamory than there is in a relationship that is just two people. Right. So you have to have like this person's rules, that person's rules. It's, it's too many lot. rules. It's a lot of rules. Too many fucking yeah. rules. I just like the rule that's like, hey, we're not gonna like. <laughs> cheat on each other okay that's All an right. easy one yeah, yeah. this is easy it's yeah. easier that way <laughs> hmm. she doesn't like that rule yeah. at all she's poly and bi <laughs> um, <laughs> what about this guy as potential suitor for you good morning julia it's me joe good morning creation just wanted to say hi wish you a great day tell you that meeting you yesterday and getting a look at you was probably one of the greatest moments Is of my life. Is this the Uber driver? You were so beautiful. <laughs> it's you don't know how beautiful no. you are to me. No, I mean, he's... Just, you're gorgeous. You're it's precious. A, it's a rumor that was started that this was an Uber driver who had a, a, oh. a passenger. Okay. The truth is... This the like you may have seen this under that context. Mm -hmm. it's, that's not true. What happened was this guy. Oh, went, poor guy. <laughs> yeah, he he met her at the gym, and he got and he oh. got her number at the gym. Okay. And he just ran into her in the parking he lot. He just like pressured her into yeah into he's giving a dick. the number, yeah. and then he just sent her this video. Well, he seems message. like a nice Italian guy. Yeah, you're you know? right. Yeah. <laughs> would you like to give? Would you like me to put you in touch? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm taken. You're taken. Oh, damn. I'm not okay. married yet. But so. okay, oh, okay, so just maybe just, I mean, just have it in the Rolodex, you okay. know? Do you, like, will you get married one day? Uh, I, I, I'm surprised no one has asked me to marry them. <laughs> it's it's kind of depressing. Yeah. How long like, have you been dating this guy? Um, Two years almost. Okay. Yeah. I got another guy for is you. Is he a DJ? Yeah, he is. For real? Yeah. Oh. What's what his name? Should we not Shane. Say? Okay. Mm-hmm. That's good. Do you like it? Do you talk DJ stuff with him? Yeah. We go to each other's like shows and like. Aww. You do? Yeah. That's adorable. What's the perfect mm -hmm. penis size? <laughs> um, You know. Let me see. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm more of a, you can attest to this. Sure. Length or width. I'm, I like, I like girth. Yeah, I'm a, that's a every every girl. No one wants yeah. like the stabby stab. And your cervix. Yeah. Now I actually prefer not a Coke can but a Red Bull can. What you got okay. right there? Yeah. Okay. Is that how you feel? Yeah, sure. I think. What about your nuts? Do you like them high and tight or low? I hate. And I don't engage. You don't engage you balls don't touch at all. Balls? No, not really. Let me tell you no. something. Wow. You, if you're gonna be with Shane for a while, you got to start playing. With I, I, tr I tried. He, he was just like, who don't? Tickles. <laughs> I'll show you a couple things before we leave and <laughs> take it home. Yeah, hey guys, give me some examples. Well, I'll tell you. I don't. Do you eat ass? Do you eat man's ass? No. no. 
I don't either. <laughs> and see, most of the sane girls don't either. Um, but I do play with the the beans, if I may say that. Is that too much to give away to the audience? I don't, I don't audience? think that's so much at all. It's too late. Yeah. Did yeah. you leave it out? <laughs> does yeah. your what man? What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> does your was um, that a clip of your sex tape? It was. Yeah, <laughs> we, we record all when of our love. When those balls make. get tugged just right, <laughs> okay. oh, feels good. <laughs> does your man shave down there? Does he groom? Um, he 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 tr- he trims. He needs to use the manscape. Uh, 3.0. Oh, sh- oh I'm the Valentine's Day present oh. idea. <gasps> oh, landscape. There yes. you go. It's a. It's the best. Ball Are you got to segue into a commercial? I was, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now but you can get 30 percent off when yeah. you use the code. You got it. 15, <laughs> promo code. But uh, <laughs> yes, and I will hook you up with a manscape for your man. Definitely. He would love that. I mean, it really. He's Italian. Oh, lots oh, of hair. Oh, very yeah. hairy. He can brand. do the tank. Actually, I might need one too. He can do it for his <laughs> Russian. Yeah, yeah. Some hair too. It it helps. It's yeah. really great. Cool. And then everything down there will be spick yeah. and span, cool. clean as a whistle. Mm. Well, then. Yep. Now, um, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Are you a juggalette? Um, I went to the gathering of the juggalos. I've seen that yeah. on your gram. Yeah. I've seen I've seen some very confusing posts because I don't understand. At one point, it looked like you were getting paid to model. Uh, I was filming models. Oh, yeah. okay. Sorry, it's my child. Well, I mean, sick. I know, but we're hearing it. He's like, "Mom, I, I'm sick." <sighs> Kills me. Okay, uh, so oh. D- yeah, let's see. We have some stuff to yeah, show yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, check out because you have a bunch of cool tattoos. We were talking about that uh, while you were gone. Yeah, that she has great tattoos. I think you should get some tattoos. I would. I've I've um, seen Krishan's tattoos. This one, your throat one, was fairly what, like a year ago. Like recent. Three, three years. Yeah. Ago. Oh. Okay, it feels that way on Instagram, and then um, I keep up. I keep up on all yeah, this stuff. You've got a lot more two years. tattoos. <laughs> I'm in Babyland. Shut up. Um, but what'd you get? Are you going to get baby more? The vortex. Yeah. Just time is and not that's a the worst. It just goes concept. away. Yeah. How many more are you going to get? Um, I'm actually planning to get one on my back. Okay. Um, oh, we were talking about butthole tattoos. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're going to get a butthole tattoo? No, he said you should get one. I was saying that you should get <laughs> my face. She was saying on your butt cheek. And I was saying, what if we did it around the whole and in my mouth? That's a good Their holes. beard yeah. and then the hair. Yeah, but they draw on it on taint. there. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. That'd be really fucking cool. This guy has a really cool tattoo if you went to the Gathering of the Juggalos. Okay. You know, I do gotta <laughs> say, <laughs> I appreciate all the comments. But he's all like, I regret my you know, tattoo. Yeah, yeah. Mistakes. Oh, man. I feel bad for that guy. I thought yeah. I was Mr. Cool. But having this on my face has <laughs> he been looks a like destruction Mr. to my cool. life. He does. <laughs> Mentally, emotionally. You know, a laser away should reach out to this guy. You know what? <laughs> he's already face. going. <laughs> oh, great. Is there an update? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he better keep the hatchet one though, because that's an ICP symbol, yeah. right? God, you know how bad those lasers hurt. No. Have you had one removed? No. Wait. No. no. Oh. Oh Jesus. Oh man. Brutal. Look how oh. he winces at every <laughs> single one. He's just like. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Fucking pussy, right, Tom? Uh, no. Take that pain. I think he's all right. Oh, the Jesus. eyebrows got to be real tender. Yo, face I didn't, me. I didn't realize that's like one treatment. It's like that's gone. That one's gone. No, you have oh, to no. do like twelve of those. But like, isn't that like? No, because no, that's gonna scab. Oh, uh, and then will it still be dark when it? Come? Yeah. Oh, it will. Okay. And so, it'll, it, it won't be a hundred percent. No, like you'll still see remnants of yeah. that tattoo. If he like you know gets all like twelve treatments and like puts like some foundation on, like it'll, it'll be, be good. It'll be you good. Know? Yeah. Fuck. Mm. Do you see a lot of that at the ICP concerts? Like facial tattoos. Um, I see a lot of a lot of people have face tattoos now. It's yeah. true. It's it's more common. Yeah. I'm not What's the craziest thing you've seen at, at a ICP concert? Uh, you went to the gathering. I went to the gathering recently. Yeah, it was like a couple months ago. How was it? Was it wild? Yeah, uh, I was filming the whole time, so mm. it was cool because I kind of had this like layer of between like me and people. You yeah, know? That's, yeah, that's good. And people would like act out on the camera, but they wouldn't be like to me. Um, the craziest thing, uh, this there's this thing called the getting baptized and it's basically when like a juggalo pours like a whole entire liter of fago on you hmm. 
and we were riding around in a golf cart and some guy just like pours a liter of fago on one of the girls we were with and i was sitting right next to her and i got up and i was like i don't know what just happened and i tell like the boss girl of the crew you know she's like the mean girl and i'm like this guy just poured fago all over vega and, and i don't know what's going on and he's like where she's like where are you at you know and so she goes up to him she's like what the fuck is your problem why the fuck would you do that and he's like i, I don't know we're at the we're at the juggalo gallon it's just what we do we're <laughs> oh just we're just juggalos <laughs> and she's like ah oh, yeah you're right and he's like oh, i'm sorry I, i'm really sorry and they ended up becoming friends and like hanging out all night. Uh, but but that but that's called getting baptized. I would love like, to baptize you. Christina. I would love to have that sticky shit all over you. It's kind of messed up because I'm imagining that there's no showers at the gathering. Like you got you just got sticky syrupy shit on you. Yeah, that's fucked up. And your makeup's all jacked. Mm -hmm. Baptize here uh. is a different thing. Oh, get off! <laughs> Put it all over you. You okay. guys are horny. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys like hook up a lot at home or today? Wow, God yeah. bless. Yeah, we have two. Your baby's small all kids. sick. Yeah, <laughs> he's like mom, and you're like shh. Yeah, I'm getting the D. Dad's got to get his nut. Yep. <laughs> uh, we do. We try. With two small ones is tough, but yeah. we try. You we got try. Two small ones. Two. I guess. <laughs> Basically, what I do is I ha I take um like a synthetic uh dildo and I tape it to mine. Mm. So together, <laughs> okay. it's like one normal size penis. Nice. Yeah. Stack them up. Stack them up. Double, I double team it. <laughs> oh, no, but she likes girth, so you have to put them side by side. That's right. Mm -hmm. tape That's them together. Duct tape, tape it. it. Duct put tape. that duct tape right in. <laughs> yep, feels good, right? <laughs> it's smooth. It's an extra <laughs> The blood is an extra lubricant. <laughs> That's right. Ew. Ew. <laughs> do you do anal? Are you an anal? Um, yeah, you hesitated. Yeah. That's, That's a, yes. a yes. That's great. Let us know all about good it. Good for you. Yeah. Do you think, do you believe... <laughs> In uh, enemas first, or just in the moment, whatever happens. I haven't happens. done done it in oh. years. Oh, oh, oh! I want to try it again, but it has to be. You gotta work up to you it. Gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just like be like, I'm gonna. Just but try that means it. that it was at yeah. least an enjoyable experience because you're not like that's the worst thing that ever happened. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was doable at the time, but. I was drunk back then. Now I'm sober, so. Oh, right. Oh. So. Oh. How long have you been sober for? Uh, Almost two years. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. That's great. That's awesome. My and name's Natasha. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Good for you. You Natasha. go to your meetings and you, mm -hmm. okay. And do you, are, is that when you started therapy? Uh, I started therapy a little bit before that, like a year before. Um, My therapist like never like told me to get sober, but I think I just did it to like impress her yeah because i'd be like yeah i went out and i just like did hella coke and like got fucked up all night <laughs> i'm still fucked up i'll have like a i'd carry like a plastic bag with me in therapy in case i'd had to like throw up like during therapy. <laughs> what <laughs> wow yeah. and she'd be like mm, sounds fun <laughs> <laughs> she's like how much coke did you do hmm. mm. sounds like a good time so you really straighten your shit up because it did look like you were partying when you were touring and doing all that. Yeah. Did you uh, buy dumb things when you had a lot of money? Yeah. I bought dumb things as in like I would buy like an old Game Boy, you know, like I never like spent. That's not a bad purchase. It though. was because really? I could have like bought a car and like paid oh. it off, you know, oh, like, right. oh, but gotcha. I was like buying old Buicks and like, you know, my manager yeah. would be like, why are you buying like an, an like. That old 1986 ass. Buick when you can buy cool. a brand new car and I'd be like cuz I want to <laughs> and then what and then like I like <laughs> have to sell my Buick and I only get like a thousand bucks for it when I if I had a brand new car I could have yeah yeah, yeah whatever you know yeah Fucking yeah stupid nah. stupid huh? that was all that coke though thinking that was the coke <laughs> talking this is different now yeah true yeah you'll be fine now wow oh Fuck. When you find out you're pregnant, were you like, oh my God. Like, what was it like? I imagine you're at the, it's like the frenzied time of your touring, right? Like, wasn't it kind of around yeah. the time? I like, just got off tour when I found out. Um, I, 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 I didn't think that like, it, honestly, like as stupid as it sounds, like I thought 
when you're pregnant, you're just pregnant. Like you don't have a baby after. You're pregnant. <laughs> what? Like one hundred percent. Like my brain like blocked blocked that thought out. Yeah. That that there's a baby at the end. Yeah. Really. And then like the ba- my baby daddy. <laughs> My son's dad would be like, oh, we're going to have like a little boy running around. And I'd be like, shut up. Don't say that. Don't say that. And he'd be like, what? I'm like, just don't. Don't say that. Because I was already like, fuck. I forgot. You were kind of blind. I mentioned you kind of wanted <laughs> yeah. to block it out. Yeah, like, I was this like, I get to happening. be pregnant. I'm going to chill. I don't have to tour. <laughs> and no one can ask me for shit. Everyone has to take care of me. Yeah. You know? It's a perfect setup. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was like, oh my God, I have the biggest responsibility of my life now. Yeah. <sighs> and when did that When did that hit you? When I was like, ugh. He was in your arms the first <laughs> I was time. Like, what? Ugh. What the fuck? Where'd you come from? <laughs> I got a C-section. I was like, I was so, I was like, I'm not giving birth. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've elected for a C-section. Yeah, I did too. And then my baby came anyways. Really? You I, pushed it out? Well, I, I elected vagina? for a C-section. And then the morning of my scheduled C-section, I went into natural labor. And my water <laughs> broke. And I was like, bitch. I That's did not want to push yeah. this out, bro. My doctor bro. was like, this motherfucker's coming down the canal. Really get ready. <laughs> Damn, yeah. he played you. He played me big. Yeah. So so you, you had a C-section, yeah. and I imagine you're just br- like bruised up. You're this young girl. What's Hot, the relationship? Sexy. Sexy. Fuck it's yeah. just out Yeah, I did. Oh, shit, yeah. Engorged woman. Engorged. Yeah. Mm. Were you just like, what is this? Because one minute you're touring, and... Yeah. You know, smoking blunts and making cool yeah. videos. The next minute, you're a mother, which is the craziest transition. Yeah. Um. I, I mean, in the yeah, I, you know how it is in the beginning. It's chill. You're just, you're just binge watching shows with your tit out. Yeah. You know, you're just covered in vomit and shit, milk, crust. You know, yeah. everything's fine. Yeah. Then you get to the point where you're like, okay, gotta get out. I'm like, I'm bored, you know, but I have to breastfeed every goddamn 40 seconds you know yeah. or your tits explode yeah yeah do you think you'll have another kid that's the million dollar question <laughs> it really depends on whether or not you meet the right guy okay yeah. i've been on here i've oh been polite God. i've been him? kind i've been honest and sincere mm-hmm. now i like to have some nookie right on my lips some coochie I would like nookie to have oh. Some titties rub my face. Okay. I would like to have some sex. Yeah, that's me. I'd like to have a woman in my home. There you go. Who I can make love to. There you go. I'm not like one of these young men or these little boys. Okay. They get themselves off and then, oops, they don't care about their uh. partner. So right away you know you have a thoughtful lover. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll make you come. Ah. Uh. Uh, Last lady, 10, 15 times before I even went boom once. Oh, you went boom. <laughs> once. <laughs> Damn. If we, if we could get your thoughts yeah. on this potential suitor. Um, he should probably be paying for sex, right? He oh, should no. be at this yeah. point. Kind of looks like, I mean. He's a kind man. He should just pay, pay for sex. Yeah, I think so too. And he's right. trying to get free sex, man. That's true. Yeah. He's out here begging for free sex. <laughs> <laughs> womp womp. Sorry, Jerry. I tried to hook you up with Crayshaw. <laughs> of all the potential. He calls in. He calls in. <laughs> Wait, now, Crayshaw, please. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go boom before you go boom. <laughs> You're going to boom 10, 15 times. That's too uh, many booms. You want to go boom, boom 15 times? I'm throw up from be like, boom. Uh, 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 seizing out uh, of all the suitors you've seen today which one would you go for i guess this the second one he's seen like a which nice, one was the second one the nice italian man who's oh like, wow a beautiful woman um <laughs> it's interesting he's a stalker um, he's but a psychotic stalker maybe <laughs> what's up on my instagram heads? i'm on a roll today because women are fucking stupid oh okay, i hate this fucking guy stupid, <laughs> you like him okay i don't understand why it's so difficult for good guys to meet a fucking sane woman. I don't understand why every woman's a fucking stupid idiot. There you go. Sounds like my boyfriend. Oh, okay. 
perfect. I think when we were like talking and I was like, you know, what made you like me? And he's like, because like most women like they, they suck to kick it with. But like I, I like talking to you. Like, other other girls like you are can't talk stupid. to them. They're, if they're fucking stupid. Yeah, I got to yeah. say, I totally agree. I agree too. I agree yeah. with this guy. I agree with Carl and I agree with Shane. Yeah. Yep. That's true. You are very cool and chill. I try. Yeah. I try. Do you think yeah. it's your time at the Job Corps? No. I no. feel like that must have formed you as a person. That sounds like a uh, crazy experience. No, my life was absolutely insane for for a while after Job Corps. Yeah. I was like, got my own apartment. Everyone come over. And you just, it was like a party den. Yeah. Dude, this one night I was having like the party den, like blacked out drunk. I don't even know who's in my house. I just remember I look over and I see like a completely homeless man. <laughs> in my house who must have like followed the crowd of people like coming into the place and i'm just like you know when you're black you can like barely you like focus for one second you're like whoa what and I'm like he's just chilling <laughs> there he's back to spinning around you wow. know yeah damn so I, had, I had a party house for sure wow what's the wildest shit from your wild days do you have like one memory that stands out of like i mean is it that you know no. what I mean? Like something, <laughs> that was it, pretty mid. That's pretty uh, low on the That was pretty low. Part. Oh, so what's like pretty high on it? Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. My life's a movie, dog. You know, like, <laughs> every day is a movie, man. Man, that sounds like Brace from yeah. Gigolos. I can't, yeah. I can't remember. And my memory is terrible. Really? Yeah. My son will be like, what did I used to say? What What did I call Cookie when I was a baby? I'm like, bro, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> 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 mm, <okay>. <laughs> <sighs> you Sorry, are my bro. favorite. I love brain you. damage. <laughs> no, it's all great. I've burnt those little little connectors out. Shock and shoot, what? Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's brain damage. You oh. said brain damage. Mark okay. Bo- 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 like, Bo- Bo- you're like Googling but like <laughs> as quick as you can. <laughs> no, just, we have all these drops. That's Larry King. My husband was um, interviewed by Larry King, and that's mm. him saying Mark Wahlberg. You want to hear it again? Chocolate yeah. souffle. It's kinda, that's kind of funny. <laughs> it's crazy. Here's, here he is saying Mark Wahlberg. Mark, Bo- 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 <laughs> Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just makes me laugh. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Soccer souffle. <laughs> Soccer Soccer souffle. Soccer souffle. You're going to go straight to hell for playing me. Why? He's going to hear it. He's a Cray Sean fan. <gasps> really? No. I don't oh. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, y'all gullible. Yeah, we are. I believe you. <laughs> it is. <sighs> You're so sp- oh. <laughs> You're so spicy on Twitter. Am I? Yeah, I feel you're very very I s- hold back, man. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. I can't say everything I want to say. So the other here. day I wanted to say something about coronavirus, but I like I messed it up. But I was gonna write like sixty one thousand people die from the flu every year. But I just wrote sixty one thousand people die every year. <laughs> and I was like, should I leave this? I don't know. <laughs> just fuck it. I was just yeah. like vague with what? People are like, what They're are you like, talking They're like, that's about? not right. Everyone starts attacking me. <laughs> Do you have any tattoos that you regret? Oh uh, yeah, duh. Yeah. Which one? Uh, I have a lot. I have a lot of tattoos. I have this whole arm that I'm like gonna get like blasted over. That's what they call blast over. Yeah. You just like put a giant dark tattoo on top yes. of all your crappy old ones. I've seen oh, that. Cat Von D did it. Yeah. It's she, she's all blacked like, out. Well, I'm not gonna do like the like black block, mm-hmm. but I'm gonna do like just something mm-hmm. just different. And what's the dumbest one that that comes to mind? Um. <laughs> There's one on the back of my neck that says one love <laughs> that I got when I was like 16 and I, I can never see it because it's on the back of my neck and like the like a year ago this guy is like walking behind me he's like one love and I, <laughs> and I don't even turn around he's like one love and I turn around like what and he's like one love and I'm like what I'm like in a bad mood I'm like what, what are you talking about he's like one love and I'm like what what are you talking about he's like on the back of your neck you have a tattoo that says one love. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I forgot. Okay, thanks. I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah, douchebag. Yeah, one love. Yeah, fuck off. We're all like about to fight each other. He's yeah, like, you dumb bitch. You have a tattoo <laughs> on your neck. <laughs> Stupid ass. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Well, f- true. 
<laughs> True. <laughs> Women what? are stupid. Oh my god. Great. Damn. Uh, Let me see. Me stupid? No. Pussy magnet. Did you write pussy magnet? It was me and me and Roach Giggs. Ah, that was a crazy video. Well, I was pregnant as hell in that video. Were you? I was. I feel like you guys hit it very well. Yeah, we we hit it for some reason. Yeah. Because like that was back in the day. Now. Oh right now. Now it's all like check super out empowering. My mom. Yeah. Yeah, bro. You let it hang out. Yeah. Sony dropped me like five days after I announced I was pregnant. What? Yeah. What? They didn't even try to conceal that. No. They're just like. You're done. But You're nowadays done, it's buddy. like. Pregnancy is like marketing. Oh, a hundred percent. Back yeah. even when I when I started stand up comedy a million years ago, mm -hmm. you couldn't talk about really motherhood or pregnancy mm -hmm. or God forbid perform pregnant. That was gross. Now it's yeah. it's all the rage. Yeah. You gotta do your special preggers, man. Yeah. Well you gotta do your next album when you're preggers. Yeah. That pregnancy brain. Mm. I know. It's you're so hard like, to remember uh, shit. Uh oh, I'm fat. So when are we gonna do our? Um, when are we gonna drop a single together? What's up? I'm 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 back I'm back on the music. I just did a I just did a new EP. Okay. What's it called? called? True Oakland Black Metal. Okay. T O B M. Check that out on Spotify, Apple Music, and cop that <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's my plug. I love your No, plan. but I'm back Fuck on with her. doing like, me. Well, I just stopped forever. I yeah. know you did, but I want you back. I want you making I'm shit. I'm back. I'm, do I'm, I'm coming up. All right. Will you write a fucking song with me? Yeah. I'm being serious. Let's do it. Okay. Let's I'm make a call. TikTok song. Let's get TikTok famous. We can totally get TikTok famous. Wait, are you on the talk? Stressed. I'm just, I'm just impacted by how on point that comment you made was i think going tiktok is the way to go mm, yeah tiktok music yeah it is are you on there yet uh i made a tiktok and then i i, I kind of got overwhelmed yeah i was like what what is this people just act out clips so then i was doing that and then i was like wait this isn't what people are doing they're actually mm -hmm. they're doing being all kinds of stuff they're doing a lot of different here's things some talks right talk. here hey guys to those of you that have been following me i am now following you Wait, why does and she look familiar? The ones that are not following me that I am following them oh, I know. have been deleted. Is what it is, buddy. Take yeah. it or leave. <laughs> you is, this is from your collection? So, uh, just so you know, Krishan, I'm a TikTok curator. Mm -hmm. I'm not so much a content producer, but I like to see other you people's like to, content to, yeah. and aggregate so yeah, that people may enjoy. That. She, oh, yeah. She has like an Instagram, but she just like her stories like yeah. for 45 tiktoks a day well i would like, love i don't even need this app i just go and like watch people's stories yes i would love her information so i can follow her stories yeah, and she can follow you. mine and let's see if she and i have the same sensibility yeah, yeah. it's 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 like it's like oh, it's, it's like, like this it's just like the the next level of comedy <laughs> like yeah like you have to have a different type of brain to think this is like funny you know? yeah right most people watch us and be like <laughs> You, know. you just dialed in wow. to the lifeline of this wow. podcast. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> this is the... My hero, Krajan, just put the finger... She put her finger on the pulse of what Oh, she is. did. You, you, you're like the Yoda it. of... of I, get uh, it. I, I knew get you it. could figure this shit out. And what is the ones with the gun control suffer? Besides America, the shootings and I... Just need is for you to give one more try. Okay. And but you can't because you are also stubborn. Yeah. Do you ever think like about your kids when you see these? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. I always think of my son, and I'm like, half of me is like, I hope that's my son. Look at his shirt. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I hope the other way. But I <laughs> <laughs> or I'm just like, what if, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. No, all the way. It won't be. No. It won't be your Who son. No, no, no. I'm going to say this here and now, mm -hmm. and as simple as can be. She ain't got yes, no Yes, Oregon passed a law to where each bag you use is a nickel, unless you bring your own. No, it is not my fucking fault. If you don't pay attention, that's on you. You do not 
get to turn me into your verbal punching bag. I don't give a shit. If you're having a shit day, you don't need to beat me up because of it. If you don't like it, get the fuck out. Dude, have you seen the the one it's of the, the Illuminati chick? She's always like spaz. Yes. She's crazy. She yeah. scares me. She's fully psychotic. I don't yeah. even I won't even curate her work yeah. because I think she's on another planet. You don't know who we are Cray oh. and I are talking about. Yeah, I don't. Do you, got, do you know language. who Martin is? Martin. He's um <laughs> he's autistic. But he oh. always does like the medicine. I'm having my lunch. I'm having my lunch. I'm having my lunch. No, no, oh. that guy. no. Hmm. Martin. Okay, hmm. I'll look him up. Listen, we'll, okay, we'll have a recap. Hmm. Oh God, but he's so always sad. like the ketosis of the body. You had he's like a Mexican dude, and he's like really. You know this guy? Yeah. How do you fools know this, and I don't? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Did they play that? Or no, you know? no, that was Tom. That was Tom. Okay. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta get, you gotta get on Martin's level, man. Okay, Martin. I'm not sure. <laughs> Wait, which one was that, babe? That was I don't know. There's the other ones in here. May I see? <laughs> you don't fucking have to come on my fucking things and be fucking rude. Okay. And stuff like that when I do a fucking video. Okay. <laughs> you don't fucking like it, just go by it. Don't fucking say shit. There you go. I I like. See I like this her vibe. stuff. I think I think of my grandpa so much. I wish really. I wish Pop Pop like had a TikTok. Oh. God rest his soul, man. Yeah. He had this kind of vibe to him. Yeah, he yeah. would like make he he has like some stuff. He had a Twitter and like he, he would did. just tweet like the craziest shit. And he'd be <laughs> like, he he would he would love. To really, make videos like, I like, wish really would. Good, good he wouldn't job check on anything. <laughs> he wouldn't check anything. He would just like post shit like this. Uh-huh. Like, I'd be like, the other day I tweeted one of his old tweets, and it was like, I made two sandwiches. <laughs> I'm gonna have one now, and I'm gonna have the other one now. <laughs> like it got like 400 retweets. <laughs> That's <laughs> really like, funny. Yeah, that I'm is like, funny. What? <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about old people using technology today, and why they always have to do this. Like they don't know how to use thumbs. They yeah. always have to push that it index angle. Yes. <laughs> it's like right here. Great angle. <laughs> Under Wait, and close. Do, yeah. do you really like this or are you just being no, sarcastic? No, this, this is a really good one. I like this one. <laughs> you like the confrontational. I like confrontational. I've TikTok. noticed. You like yeah. the grumpy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It yeah. makes me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what else you got in here. All I want for Christmas is having a girlfriend okay. who wants me for who I am. And okay. That's... All right. I don't need that that's one. That's not one of the suitors. You didn't even. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, TikTok. So what? apparently I was told I needed to do this and show you all my magic cabinet as a practicing male witch. So here's my magic cabinet. And since it's in the kitchen, I guess it's that like would technically classify cinnamon. me as a kitchen witch. <laughs> I got like all the good cumin. stuff. Uh, what do you think I of have a bunch of vanilla candles. I am a male witch. <laughs> would you date the male witch? No. <laughs> Dating when you're non-binary really sucks, and here's why. Hi, I'm Fern. Just so you know now, my pronouns are they, them, and I'm non-binary. Yeah, girl, I'm cool with that. Actually, uh, I'm non-binary. Please don't call me girl. But titties. They, them. Titties. Uh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I just refer to everybody as fool. I'm like, what's that fool? fool? Yeah. 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 That's a safe way to go. That is a safe yeah, way to go. That's gender neutral. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Remind us, please, of the name of, of the my n- pronouns. Your pronouns <laughs> are she, her, she, she, that her? bitch, that bitch, and the new name of the new album, the new EP. Is uh, it's. <laughs> I just made it like as difficult as possible because yeah. I just love doing that. Uh, it's T dot O dot B dot M. Sorry, guys. What does it stand for? True, o- True Oakland Black. Oh, that's right. That's True right. So what happened was I had the songs. I was like, I don't know what to name it. I didn't want to get any album art done. I don't know why. And then I was like, I'm going to just use this old T-shirt design as the album art. Hmm. And that's what it said on the T-shirt. So I was like, I'll just name it True Oakland Black Metal. And then I was like, I'm going to just, you know, make it T-O-B-M. Perfect. <laughs> then it works. I should have just named it like, I don't know, something that I can say and not have to like <laughs> spell out, you know, whatever. Well, it's creative. Yeah. Wait, do you have TikToks that you wanted to share as well? No. No. 
All right. Do I, you have any? Uh, we're not going to run through all these, right? That's well, I just thought maybe you had no. something input. I don't know. No, that's good. Okay. Well, we're all talked out. I get talked out sometimes. Uh, she like she's like always like look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, she's all twenty four seven. And you're like, mm, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You just summarize mm-hmm. the whole relationship. Yeah, I annoy the shit out of him. Who's more annoying in your relationship? You or your Me. boyfriend? Yeah. Yeah. What do you do to annoy him? Like everything. Everything. Your existence. Yeah. yeah. That's how I feel about uh, Tom and I. Yeah. Plus, I adore him more. Like I'm like I'm very loving oh, and I'm sweet. I'm obsessed. I'm just like yeah. Can I rub your shoulders? You know. Yeah. He's like, I don't like my back rubbed. I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you and I are similar. We love. We love love. Would love if you grumpy would do some animals. Of that more. Are do you guys what? in? Are you guys Shoulder in love? Rubs. Oh yeah, I am. Of course. Are you? Of course. No, I do. I love him more every year. You guys are married. Yeah. yeah. 17, se- 15 years ring? married. Well, I just wear the band. I don't wear like the big oh, the shaboodle. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I left the rock at home, but I it's do. really big. Trust me. Yeah. It's really impressive. <laughs> he did great, great job. Well, she truth- never wears it. I never. She's like, I have an allergy to the fucking metal. I do. Diamonds. I swear to God, yeah. when we got married, I got the ring and I'm allergic to whatever was in it. Aluminum or some shit, <laughs> and aluminum. then I, I made him rebuy me a nice ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's made true. Him, I made him rebuy me. Uh, anyways, I love like you. Whatever. rolled it up out of aluminum foil. Yeah, my second wife's gonna be the shit. Damn, it's not cold as ice. Burn. Burn. Yeah, such a bitch. Yep, she's gonna be like twenty-two. Pretty stupid. Pretty dumb. Yep. N- don't give not me a no lot static. of thoughts. Not a lot of opinions. Mm-hmm. Just like I'm not, I I made a steak for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she deaf too. She's, She's deaf. like you want a back rub. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be like, oh, thanks. Yeah. Just get a robot. Get the cyborg. No, yeah. just do get a get an Oculus. Just have a VR girlfriend. Oh yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. Cool. Would you want that? Sure. You don't have to talk. I think you have to talk. Oh. Um, well. Oh, that's the whole thing. Talk to him, right? I don't know. I got to try it out. Try it out. All right. Out. Anyways, All we right. got to let Creation go. Yeah. I love you. You've Thank been you. such an inspiration to me. And I mean this. At the time when I discovered you, I was like, should I be a comedian? Should I go for it? And seeing somebody as young as you, and you were, you still are so inspiring. Thank you. I just, God bless. I think you're fantastic. And I'm so honored that you came on our show, our silly, stupid show. And I can't wait for us to release our smash hit single together. Let's do it. Okay. I'll be back. Well, we'll yeah. we all be back when we finish the single, and then yeah, we can like you know, we'll be like ripping books off. Oh, we should film it in this, bro, Shit. and just trash it, oh, trash all the bottles. That. Yeah, I do that. Uh, uh, it costs a lot of money to do that. Uh, <laughs> production value, you know, it's already here. And second off, maybe I'm like, <laughs> I'd like to watch. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming. Yes, it was really thank fun you. To you. No problem. See you guys next I had fun. week. It was great, good. right? Yeah, good. All right, good. Peace. Thanks, dude. Woman. 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 Woman.
Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jeans. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, 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 so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jeans.